Don't you have 22nd? Fuck. Yes, 22nd. Oh, very low. Hopefully, my Crazy. headset doesn't die. July. <laughs> we'll figure it out. If my headset dies, I'll have to try and plug it in while we're, we're going. I'll figure it out. I'll just have to turn yes. the light off. But, yes, everything's working as always as it need to. My God. Anything. I got a. I kind of took some notes, memory <laughs> notes, so I could go through today's oh, I didn't. bits and pieces. <laughs> oh, it's only last minute notes that I wanted to talk about myself. Just things that I wanted to bring up. Just had to make sure. Before we start, before we get into it, let's uh, crack that bad boy open. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, mine was not as aggressive. That just... <laughs> mine was just nice and easy. That shouldn't even be shaken up. What the fuck? Why did that fizz up like that? Oh my god. This went all over the mat. That was, uh... Did on the you cat. shake it? No. <laughs> on the cat? <laughs> on the, uh, mat. <laughs> the mat and the part of the couch. Uh... A little bit on the lip of the couch. Yeah, it was my Carlton. My Carlton dry. Zesty lemon. I thought that was a fucking um, one of them. Uh, uh, what are they them oh. fucking? What are they called? They're like that lemon. Oh, what the are they called? the hard hard rated. The 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 solos. Yeah, the hard I thought rated. it was one of those. Um, yeah, the fucking solos. Yeah, they called hard black and yellow. Yeah, made a mess. I do want to try one of them one day. They are not bad. They're delicious. They are nice. You can sometimes not taste the alcohol, which is scary, so. Yeah, well, good alcohol you can't taste. Yeah, so it's, it's, that's why I say it's kind of scary when you're downing a hard solo. It's like how you have a good vodka. You can't Mm. smell it. You can't taste it. So you can get, uh, you can get pretty drunk off a, off a hard solo, so. So, Yeah, Yeah, right. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, let's gonna let's get on into it. <laughs> With that out of the way, what's up, beardies and beardettes? Welcome back to another fantastic and fine episode of the Beardy Bros Podcast. Woo! And as always, going in your ear holes and your eye holes and out your bum holes. You got to digest like yesterday's us. Yesterday's roast. Yep. So, um. fun for me the the past week. I've uh, come down with a bout of gastro. So that's been uh, that's Ooh. been that's been fun. So you know, shitting through an eye of an eye of a needle. So that's uh, right. <laughs> that's, that's been real fun. Um, but adding alcohol to it at the end of it, I guess, is just like whatever. Not what else can you know go wrong? <laughs> I don't think alcohol really contributes to that. So thankfully, no. But my gut is a bit all over the place. So I've been very gassy today. So I managed to get some tablets yesterday. Took them yesterday and. All day oh, today, nice. I've just been so bloody gassy. They're fucking tablets. Is that them brown ones? The, the gastro stop ones? Like the... Oh, there's some brown ones like that. It's fucking horrible. And then I also had a ginger tablet as well to help with the nausea because of the whole gastro unbalancing and upsetting and stuff. So The upset tummy? Yeah, that throws you about a little bit. So that was uh, very tangy and spicy as well. Um... Before we go too deep into any further, uh, we'll mention the uh, sad news of uh, Donald Sutherland uh, passing away. Yeah, Donald. Oh, Donald Sutherland. Is he like 88 or something? Something like that, yeah, in his 80s. Uh, he passed 88? away, so. Yes, get that in. I have it here somewhere. It's like, something took a screenshot. So, yeah, that was uh, interesting to hear. Yeah, he was 88. Hmm. Hmm. So, that's pretty crazy. I'd... I kind of didn't believe it at first. I'm like, no, he hasn't died. Mm. But then I was like, oh, he actually has. Because so, yeah, you, so... you know the internet. Yeah. But I mean, he is old man, so it's, yeah, one of these things that's... Can't really get, you know, it's, it gets crazy. Yeah, like, it's crazy. 88. Mm. Got a few innings in him. That was pretty good. Was, I just thought he was older than that. Yeah, hey. well, that's it. I, yeah, you kind of forget. You kind of lose a track of time. I kind of thought he was a little bit younger, but... I, and that was one of those things. Mm, right. Well, that's what I was. I was watching a movie recently. Um, it had Brad Pitt in it. Yep, he's sixty. Yeah, I know it's oh, crazy. But, fuck, these people got old, didn't they? Like all like, these actors are just getting old now. Like it's crazy. Like we're getting old ourselves, but like 
you don't realize when you actually look at it, sit back and look at it all. It's like, damn, these guys are actually old. Like, um, so Ian McKellen, <laughs> yeah. like he's like, hey. yeah, so Ian McKellen, he's oh, like Ian 80. McKellen, yeah. He's, he's in like, hospital at the present moment. Like, yeah. Cause he had his stage play and he fell over and hurt his arms and shit. Oh. But he's like oh. in his like eighties as well. I think he's like 88 or something like that as well. Nineties, I think. He's just shy of 90. He's like 88, I think it was. Fuck. Yeah, I'm like, damn, like, that's crazy. Like, to actually think when you realize, yeah, like... Yeah, doing Broadway, like... Yeah. He just happened to have an untimely <laughs> yeah. fall and hurt himself. Luckily, he's doing all right. He said he's doing all right, but he's just a bit mm. shaken up. So I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like, you know, good rest to him. Freaking rest up, heal up, get back onto it. I, I think that's what he... I don't reckon he'll rest, though. Yeah. As soon as you get back out, to be back up on Broadway. Again, That's it. So. <laughs> He's a trooper. He's a real trooper. But um, but yeah, no. So it's been a yeah. So it's just been an interesting week. Just chilling, basically, just playing the Fallout seventy six, just relaxing, Max and acting all cool. Uh, trying to keep no people up <laughs> in my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> God dang it! Ain't having no b ball around here. Ah, oh. uh, jeez. That one yeah, it's rip crazy you say you fall out at 76 because I went through my friends list when I was on the PlayStation earlier. Mm. Fall out, da 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 da, fall out, da da da, fall out. <laughs> Only three people, but it's like people are smashing 76 right now. Yeah, 76. Like I was, like I said, I've been doing four, but then got on to 76, and it's just been. I oh know it, it has been fun. Like I have been able to get into it, and it just feels. A lot better, especially with the last update they did. Like I think I briefly talked about it, but like they do have like the the whole level perk thing now. And it's mm. it's been more comfortable by giving yeah. you assets to start off with now. Like since the later update, like they because I like, again like for those that didn't uh, may have missed it, a quick refresh. I played just before the update had dropped, um, and it felt good to jump back into it. But then this then I also started again refresh with the new update because they gave a level twenty booster. And if you wanted to get into it to kind of get yourself going and kind of skip all that nonsense stuff, um, which, you know, you still can do those missions and go back over it, but at a higher level, which then yeah. makes it a little bit easier because you have a well, you know, established base um, skill, or you could start off at, you know, fresh level two and go through it and grind everything up in a sequence of doing it all. So, you know, it depends on how much time you want to play or skip, but I've put like 50 something hours, maybe 60 hours into the game already. So... It's it's a lot, and I've I've, I've subscribed to the uh, Fallout uh, Premium, the Fallout Plus, whatever they call it. So you get their monthly subscription. Oh, yeah. It's like it's twenty two ninety five. You you're kind of paying for the credits you get because you get the sixteen fifty, and you get a few extra items unlocked for free. But mainly, a lot of the stuff is given oh. to you freely. So like you can do the challenges to get your score for the battle pass, but like only ten items in the battle pass are locked behind the premium everything else is oh, free yeah. so it's only like the boosters like, like some things are like the boosters for the pass are locked behind the premium which makes sense because it's what yeah, we have a... been they did there's only five out of like yeah they're actually the premium that were just premium so, so which like, kind of feels a bit more I think people are easing up on the premium stuff. yeah like that's what i feel like they should be like do that because then it's up to the person to go oh, okay i want to spend the money you know it's, it's not forcing someone to be like oh I, i'm gonna miss out if i if i don't yeah, spend the money activision and fortnite um, so, you know, it, it's good that, that, yeah. that people are starting to listen and Fallout's been really good, surprisingly being Bethesda, actually giving out a lot of free content with this. Like they <laughs> give out so much free content. It's insane. Like, yeah, just considering the, they're the ones who started market transactions. Mm, they're very generous. So it, it's nice to see. Um, a $2.50 horse skin. That's what the first ever, the I know, first ever market transaction. The, the, yeah. That's crazy history of where it's come to now. Um, but there were some issues uh, during the week. Um, so they dropped the season, the new new event stuff, you know, because the whole new DLC dropped. It was good. Then somewhere along the line, some bugs started happening, um, started breaking <laughs> down, and we started seeing, like, me and Eddie had been playing it uh, on PlayStation, and we started seeing, like, a lot of glitches in the game, a lot of issues happening, a lot of crashes started happening. End up finding out today because they finally got around to doing a patch, and it was apparently a big PlayStation issue that it was actually uh, other platforms were okay, but something happened with PlayStation and the network, and it was just causing a lot of bugs and crashes. Um, they managed to resolve it now, oh, which is fuck. great because you could open your stash, which is the main thing you need to do to do everything is opening your stash. And yeah, that yeah, that's weird. That was crashing the game, so using that would crash it. Um, using the vendors, 
uses like the vendor stores, which is a, a commodity of selling your items that you find. How you is know, that by a trade. thing? That was, how is that even a bug? That was breaking as well. Um, there was an issue, a big issue that they were trying to resolve was, um, which they actually had to remove an item, um, was pick pickaxes. So there was an issue where they were causing uh, a bug and giving out uh, modules. They got removed, but while they were being removed, so when they were patched in to be removed, another bug must have been put in by, presumably must have been a developer, because there's no way this, this bug makes sense. So when they patched out the pickaxes so no one could take modules from them, it ended up creating those that did have them left over stashed away in their storage. You could crash, like, ch uh, cash them in, like, break them down for junk, but then you're getting legendary modules out of it. So they were trying to resolve one issue, but then there was a higher Dang. issue pointing to it why it was out. So people getting onto it, all these people that had stashed up on them while they weren't available in the thing, actually cashing them in, like, breaking so them down for parts. Really broke the game in the first yeah, place. Yeah, so it was broken with whatever patch. Access to that. Yeah, so it was a weird patch, and then they've now apparently rectified that issue, so pickaxes are back in the, in the store now with an item. So it apparently happened when they added a, a skin to the pickaxe. So it's like a pickaxe. It's, it's the the sides, apparently. So the sides got added in, which identifies a pickaxe, but it's a, it's a side. But it, they, they must have used the same code asset binding, and that must have, like, cached like, cash with it. So it created this thing, and that's why they end up having to take pickaxes out um, so they could rectify the issue. And they've now rectified the issue, and it's all back to normal now. So people aren't duplicating modules and getting higher rated modules from... It's very bizarre, stuff. though, like... The yeah, so, and all so, that. yeah, so people people stash items, and they must have found that you could get modules from it. So people collecting pickaxes, stashing modules, and just holding up on them, and then they took them out, and then someone must have gone, must have been. I mean, them in. it is a Bethesda game, so yeah. there's always some. So the fact that that once that once they got removed, they they went from producing basic modules to then the higher legendary modules was a bit weird, from what I was looking yeah, into. That... So that was a bit. You know, that's, that's a bit interesting. Because Eddie was like, oh, I've got to try and find these pick -aids. Like, Because Eddie went, must saw a glitch video for it. So someone must have posted a video after they got taken out and started talking about him. Eddie came across this video. And he's like, oh, I've got to find the pickaxes. I've got to try and break them down. And I looked into <laughs> it. And I'm like, well, there's no pickaxe. He's like, I've got to find the pickaxe. I'm like, dude, you're look literally looking for nothing. You can't find it. He's like, but I want to get... It's like, they've taken them out of the game, dude. Like, it's broken. You can't do something. This is just more of a video for those that have got them giving them advice to say, hey, hey, cash them in now right. if you want to, so you can get high legendary modules to upgrade your other gear because it's harder to find them because they made legendary modules like a limited commodity to kind of come across. And I think they fixed oh, it out yeah. now because you couldn't buy them and people complain that you can't upgrade certain things and then you can't find them and people wanting to buy them. And it's just like, well, you know, we're trying to, I guess they're trying to make it fair and make it balanced so you're not, you know, because basically you can... With a lot of those legendary mod modules, you can upgrade all your guns to really, like, some really good crazy perks, and you pretty much become OP. Like, I guess it's not really... The game's not really pay to win, because all PvE... Yeah, it's end, RNG, but, though. Like, but, yeah, it's just like... You'll eventually get one, maybe. Like, I got a, I found, like, a random chainsaw with legendaries on it, and it multiplies the, the longer I keep using it. So I can walk up to an enemy, use it, and while it damages them, it grinds more multiplier, so it does more damage. So I use that more than anything else in the Ooh. game. So I'll just run up to people, use my chainsaw, and just cut at them, and you just see like the health <laughs> goes, doo -doo -doo, and then just goes down because it's it's stacking up the multiplier. It can stack up to uh, forty five percent right. of the damage it does, and does it in five lots. So Shit. it already it already does an output of like um, I think it was like seventy damage. I've got a multiplier already on that for doing uh, melee weapons, so it's a two handed melee weapon. So I've got a plus twenty percent damage on top of that. Then it does a plus up to plus forty five multiplier. So it does all this extra damage. So I'm just like fucking any anything I come up to, right. <laughs> like I'll, I'll try and shoot. Uses nothing. So I just pull out my chainsaw, and I'd use most of the time just close quarter combat, just hacking everything with the chainsaw. Because like, why not? It's the best <laughs> weapon I have at the moment. You know, with when you stack right. all these multipliers, like you gotta how they've done the specials as well with Fallout seventy six is very different to the rest of Fallout. Because you'd upgrade, you know, because like Fallout Four had all the different specials. You know, you get your base unlocks, and you can pick all your different type of classes. Yeah, these ones actually have more percentages to it. So you you choose your specials. You have your cards for each one, but you can upgrade those tiers to that. So you have like your oh, melee. Yeah. You can have Didn't one. Didn't change that because launcher yeah. wasn't that. Because you have like your strength. So you have a level one strength card. Launcher was the card. basic special. Yeah, well, you, you have your cards, you can put them in, so you'd be like, you classed it. Same kind of thing, it's like kind of like Fallout 4, but it's done differently in the, in the card stack, because you, you stack, so it limits you with what you do. But you can interchange what you want as you play. 
So you could have a build where you're doing a loot yeah. build and then go, okay, I'm done for the moment, but I want to get my better materials out of me building. So you switch into a build build or you build cards a certain way and then you get better resources while building. Flick that out and you can do it to a like a dungeon crawl build. So you, you know, a high charisma build and you can keep interchanging different like cards around to do a different play style. Which is really cool that you can do that. You can interchange as you want, not just have everything. Yeah, unlocked you're not almost. just stuck to one specific yeah. play style. Which and and like, you, but the way you multiply those things is crazy because, like, coming back to like I was gonna say, the example of like strength, you sell for the base strength. You if you got one strength card for melee, or if it's fists, just say melee fists, it'd be like let's just say uh, it could be a, a plus ten percent bonus if you have that card equipped in your strength. You can buy, you can upgrade that, then it'll become okay a, a second star tier. But then you could do like, and that's weird because you can do tier stars. So the card can be a level like a level one, but a three star tier. But then you can get another one, level that one up. Then you go to two level, st- and then it's a level, uh, it's a two tier, but so there's one star level. Then you get another one of those, and you combine that together, and then become, and you got like you can stack all your cards together and combine them all together, and you can make them about I think it's a three a three a three tier. Some can be three stars, three tier, four star. Like uh, it, it goes, it gets deep. Some are five stars, but then you can have like a, you know, you can multiply them up by keep creating the same cards and fusing them together. So you keep stacking them up and you get these fucking ridiculous oh, yeah. cards. Oh, like, um, and you, the damn game. Yeah. And so it's like adding a, a extra step into it by making it kind of like a card game style when you're upgrading everything. So you're not being super OP, but you can make that one specific yeah. thing very like powerful so your melee can become specifically powerful but then you're limited with what else you can do you know or you can make what you're carrying yeah. powerful but there's different stacks you know how you combine it you got to be smart with how you're doing it still but you can do different builds it allows for a, a more abundance of unique play styles because you're having more unique builds so it's pretty cool in instead of pigeonholed into one mm. style which yeah and i mean that's what one. fallout games do really like Fallout 4, you just do the one thing. Yeah, because like if if you're like playing Fallout 4, and you decide to you know you got to tier, you got to level fucking 200, and you've got everything maxed out in all your base specials, so all them are maxed out, and then you you know you've chose whatever things you chose. Another player could end up having the exact same thing because you're choosing those same tier. You know you're limited to what tiers you're getting, but with the card system, your play style, what you've got set up, is going to be very different to someone else, which is very smart. Being yeah. it's online, so it's good that they've done that and utilized more deeper and expanded it further and further like i think they went with what the elder scrolls online was mm. took some of that into 76 mm. well they kind of the had to because it was a way better game like because like my stuff's pretty high like i don't that have game's max... been gone for a decade yeah for reason. Like, I, don't, I don't have like real high stats but I, I do have a lot of the extra it's good with how i've got my build that it gives me the extra perks when i'm doing combos like it gives me like you know the charisma chats and you know different extra options to like play when having dialogue, which is pretty fun. So it's, it's nice to have those bonuses being, because I've got a max stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, because you, you can either avoid encounters, you can engage mm. encounters. And especially can... having that That charisma on. skill is needed in every Fallout mm. game. But especially having that, being able to do it is very early on as well, with that level 20 boost when you start in the game, actually helps a lot as well, because mm. you can do, like they have you, they give set build types as well at the start, so there's like your, the specials, and they have each class type, so one's your strength type build, one's your perception type, one's your endurance type one's your charisma type so they actually have base builds that someone's gone through and made as well for default and you can choose that yeah. but it's cool that you could choose a charisma build straight off the start and have great dialogue of options from the start of the game starting at level 20 yeah, but you, you're at the, you can you know, barter prices down and everything with mm, charisma and that's good and that, the, the fact that you can do that at such an earlier point in the game where you're still doing those early start tutorial missions but you just get to skip some of the extra crap it's actually really like smart and not like it, it helps bring people in. Like, it's not being exclusive. Like, you you can just pick it up and just yeah. get into it, pick a nice build, and just, yeah, go for it. And and you, you can level up really well. Like, it's crazy, like, how you can do it now. But it's, it's good. Like, we're having fun with it. Me and Eddie are mainly playing it. Um, Luke's... We try to get Luke onto it, but he's not playing it as much now. Um, I know he'll be listening to this at some point, so hello, Luke. Um, he's, like, he's, <laughs> he's like our main listener. He tells me all the time now. He's a bit behind on the episodes, but he catches up to it. So eventually he'll catch up to this episode at some point. Don't drop my drink. Nearly did. <laughs> yeah, don't be doing that. <laughs> Nearly slipped out of my hands. But, um, but yeah, no, so definitely a lot of that happening. But coming back to the bugs. So the bugs were having issues. Um, and they finally fixed it this week. Bugs having issues. Um, which it was good that they fixed it because they dropped a event over this, over this weekend for an extra, it's like a double XP weekend event. 
So it's it's double score on the daily score uh, missions you do. So you get the double XP basically. So you can up you know boost your pass a little bit quicker. Um, Ooh, nice. So yeah, so they did that. So that's pretty good. But I think that's why they had to roll out the. Uh, maybe they did that as well because to be like, oh okay, mm. he'll be our kind of way to say sorry. Because that, that they only notified that like two days ago. They put a notice up on the home screen, and this bug has been going. These bugs have been going on for a while. So I'm wondering whether they might have done that, being like. We know there's an issue without like really identifying the issue, being like, we'll yeah. do this to kind of like say shit. We but they should have really, they should really identify it so people yeah. know that they know. So I think I, I think they're very aware. The fact that they got around and they made an update, they did a patch which mm. rolled out, which was like just under a gig, um, that they got around to actually doing a fix pretty quickly too, because it was only within the week. Like it's you know week of it started yeah. and the end of the week they're like, no, we've got the patch already rolled out. So they're pretty under it. That's fucking rare. Like they were onto it real quick. So. And it was a, especially an issue more with They didn't um, patch Starfield that fucking quick. No, so but uh, the one issue I did have that I, I, I thought I wanted to bring, up, which was funny. Um, I don't know if I messaged you a message for other people because it made no sense. Because I got on this morning, I was like, okay, I'm ready to play. It's the weekend. I want to play, and it's just like update. Okay, ready to update. And it's like not enough space to update. I'm like, why is there not enough space on my PlayStation? I have 50 gig free. And it's like. I kept playing. So it's like you can't install. It's having issues. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? And looked at the thing. Goes, you need to free up 140 gig to do the update. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? And like saying the size allowance for the actual game itself. Because yeah, the game itself a, is like 120. Thing. It has to redo the whole game. Like it's and fucked. So I cleared out the 100 gig. So I had games there that I didn't need. So I cleared out 100 gig, and then it, and then it ran the install. And goes sweet. Downloading like just under 800 megabytes, and that was it. Just had to install the 800 megabytes and then I could launch the game and it was fine. So for some oh, reason, it just didn't have the space free allocated. It was freaking out. Couldn't register that there was the free space for some stupid reason. Even though the update was only 800 meg. You deleted way more than you should have. Yeah, because I deleted oh. one game. I deleted like a couple, like like 7 gig. Didn't work. Deleted it. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to delete the whole bunch of things. Because I deleted a, a, a decent chunk. Well, I deleted some small stuff first. But then I was like, fuck it, I deleted an 8 gig thing, 7 gig, and it's like, not, not doing it. I was like, fuck it, I'll just delete the whole thing then get to the 140 gig. 800 megs. Yeah, for an 800 meg fucking, well, not even that, it was just under it, but yeah. I was like, you motherfucker, I was like, I delete all these games. I mean, they weren't games I was really playing, it was like Grey Skies, and I had installed Grey Skies and like Spongebob and shit like that, like, I didn't really, fucking ass. I, didn't, I didn't really need them on there, so I uninstalled them, so, but I was like, yeah. I forgot more. about that Grey Skies, I fucking bought the sequel too. I'll, I think I don't think I got it, but I will pick that up at some point just because it's cheap. Don't it's fucking trash. Well, <laughs> the first one's fucking trash. I gotta play it. It, it looked interesting because it's like a walking. It's mainly a walking sim, but yeah, and, and, and there's and there's no tutorials or anything. Mm. You're just what... blindly. Yeah, I mean, I picked up cheap, so it, it doesn't tell you problem. anything. But. I say, leading that picking up things, I wanted to get that earlier. Do you have um, any pickups this week? I got some pickups. You gonna pick yes. Up? Do you want to jump into my pickups? Do you? I do. So I picked yeah. up some specials this week. Um, because I was trying Ooh. to, I was trying to look at ironing off a new headset, wireless headset for, for the potty and stuff like that. So I wanted to get a new one for the PC. Oh yeah. I was thinking because I'm getting, I'm getting tired of cables, and I was like, if I can put the old one wireless back in the Xbox, and leave it for that, and I was thinking maybe I could get one to use for the PlayStation and the PC right. and stuff. And then that had issues, issues trying to order that, and that 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 was fun trying to get that sorted. So I left it there, but I ended up looking uh, when I was at the shops, picked up some games instead because they're on special. So uh, one of the first ones I picked yeah, EB's up. EB's having a good fucking sale. Well, EB and JB had JB had some clearance on some old games, and EB's got some good stuff as well. So the first one is from EB. I uh, managed to find one of these. I picked this up, and I thought I'd get it because I want to segue into that in a bit after this. Uh, but I picked up the Fortnite Transformer bundle. Got that for twenty eight down from forty dollars. Oh, so, so you get uh you get Bumblebee, you've got Megatron, and you've got the Battle Bus as a robot. Plus, you get the thousand V bucks. I was like, that's not bad for twenty eight dollars. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good bargain. So I got that for the PS five, which is still. All oh, I still account. have no idea why it's in a it's it's own case. Though. I know it's they give you a case, so and then there's a booklet with the code on it, and then it has like all different stuff with languages, and it's like why. It just, it's just weird. It should be like a gift card, like to put the code on a card. Yeah, I know. It's just such a weird way of doing I, it. But I, I don't get why. I got a case now. I got, a, I got, a, I got a spare blue case. Oh, I got gotcha. A, so that doesn't bother me. You know, spare PS5 case. I can do whatever with it if I have an mm. issue. So that's all right there. So that's what doesn't. You PS5 do, or PS4 case. Yeah. So that's the bonus. Like whatever I do with that. 
Um, but I got these right. cheap. I went to JB Hi-Fi and they had some deals in store while I was there. I picked up uh, I picked up Kiwi, picked up the Kiwi game for Xbox for ten dollars. Oh, so I was like, oh, I'll give that a go. I think we got it on the Switch. Um, that game be I've never seen it, but it yeah, it looks interesting. I mean, it's probably on my radar. So I'm like, oh, I'll grab that little... for for ten bucks. That's a steal. So have a look, right. have a look, see if it's online at uh, JB Hi-Fi. See if you can get it ordered. Ten bucks, bruh. So it could be on PlayStation or whatever, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever you want to get on. And another one which was cheap as well. It was uh, it was a uh, cor- chorus, chorus, chorus. It was five dollar. Oh, chorus. Cor- chorus. It's a uh, you're in a spaceship shooting things. Chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was five bucks. It's a space combat thing, mm, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. And I have played some of those games before. They're not too bad. But uh, yeah, five bucks. I was like, that's not bad. I'll, I'll grab that for five bucks. So, was normally ten down to five. Oh, pretty, like, pretty fucking good. So they're 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 my uh they're my pickups for this week that are physical. Otherwise, it was me getting like I said me getting the uh for uh the Fallout seventy six premium pass, giving that a go, and um just those credits you know for Fallout as well, giving that a giving right. that a try, and it's not bad. Like for what it, for what it offers, it's it's not bad if you if you're in, like for me at the moment like that, I'm into playing Fallout at the moment. It's not bad for what you're getting. So, right. If um, presumably then everything's every season is a is a is a month of season because uh, it's it's a, a first premium. I think it's more a, than that. If there's a season every month, um, it's like six months or so, is it each thing? I don't know because that'd be weird. Because yeah, because I don't know what they're gonna offer. Because I want to see how that works. There's a, so there's a big gap between things. I yeah, think. so I want to see how that works because the fact that the first gives me access to the battle uh, to the premium pass. The fact that let I can allows me to unlock stuff while I've got it. So if I unlock all my stuff, once it ends, I'm wondering do I still have access to stuff because it was like a pre- first premium to get access to it, and then you own it after you've got access to paying. it, or you have to keep paying to access those certain items because it's like some camp items mm. you unlock. And I'm wondering, I'm guessing it's keep paying because it's yeah. a subscription thing. So I'm wondering if the items become locked after you've run out, which is kind of or... fucked because if you're paying once and you don't keep it, then mm. why? So that's why I'm wondering what the benefits work out. So if it's if you pay, but then if you pay the first month, you've done everything. Why would you mm. pay again the second month? Because you've unlocked right. everything for the premium. Like besides paying right twenty two ninety five, I guess to get sixteen, you know sixteen hundred um sixteen something. It's like one thousand six hundred something credits or atoms in your account. Like well, you know, if I wanted to, I mean, it's not bad if I wanted to like pay twenty two ninety five. I guess to automatically have you know credits come out into my account every month. Which may be why this is like a lot of people have like, right. <laughs> like atoms. But once you, but there's only so much limited stuff you can buy as well. So if you bought everything, you're going to be getting atoms to that you're paying for. Like it's like me if I was buying Fortnite credits, like buying V bucks, buying V bucks just to buy V bucks, and not actually buying anything with it. But I'm spending that money. It's like, what am yeah. I buying V bucks for? Why am I wasting that money? You know, because that's like me at the moment. Like I end up right. canceling my. Uh, I didn't. I cancelled my Xbox subscription, my Xbox Core, because I'm not playing Xbox at the moment, and I cancelled my Fortnite crew because I'm not really playing Fortnite at the moment. I paid for the the, yeah. the previous month. It's like maybe when the next month comes, I'll like maybe, but I'm not really playing it at the moment. So it's like I'll see if the skin's interesting or not. So I was like, you know, I'll just save it for now and, and just see how it goes. So you know, it's, I guess it's, Fortnite isn't really a thing. It's now it's a festival. There's a whole well, Fortnite's got everything. I mean, they they add a lot of stuff. Because like, well, Fortnite's you got your your music, you got your racing, you got your normal game, and then you've got Lego. And Lego's adding a lot more. They're really getting into it. Like Lego is really putting the work into Fortnite for their games, their game modes they're making. They dropped a new one recently, um, which is good segue because I wanted to talk about Fortnite. Move on. Um, which they did like a tilt, uh, tilted towers Lego build kind of it's like a Lego tycoon so like the old like Lego Island games like we used to run around the the Lego you know like if you remember back in the day like the old Lego games we run around the city and yeah how to help people and do missions and do like pizza deliveries and do you remember those in the other Lego games kind of like that never there's an old one like that them. um but they've got that now so they basically build a game like that in Fortnite in the Lego game it's Lego tycoon tilted towers is that Le- Lego world wasn't it Lego world. kind of like that but um. You run around the little little tilted towers map, and you got to rebuild tilted towers. It's all in Lego, but you go around the city, and you got to get the resources, and you got to build each building up. 
But once the building pops up, you can go in and do little missions. So there's like a little hairdressers. So you can do like the change the hairstyles on the different Legos and you get more credits from it. Then you go into another one. You can deliver pizzas. So you got to go in there, get the pizzas and run around, deliver the pizzas. And there's things like that. So you go through in each little thing, there's a little activity. So you un build it up, unbuild, you know, and then you got to try and defend the city as well. And the city can get under attack. And it's fun little like game modes that they're adding into. And it's kind of cool that they're doing that. But there's a new thing they're doing. And it's kind of, I feel like it's almost copying, I don't know what they're doing with it, I don't know how the, the approach they're going with it, but it's kind of funny that it's a mid-season change-up, and it's following the same name as what they do with what COD does, but there's the new Fortnite Reloaded. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, fuck. but I'm wondering, but the, I guess they're reloading though, because this season of Fortnite has had some very bad backlash with the whole car mechanic being the new OP system. Um, and people aren't really enjoying it. A lot of people have verbally like expressed their disinterest in it, and they might have finally listened for a change and doing a thing. Because well, they're what they're doing sure. is they're adding a new game mode. I don't know what the new game mode is, but they're bringing back the OG map into Fortnite. So they're dropping that and a mode. So it's going to be interesting to see what's actually going on, like what the mode's going to be like. But I was like, damn, like they're, they're going back and giving you the option to like try and get players back in because... Like no one's liking this. Like I've barely played. To, like I've barely played. Do now then. <laughs> like, like most people playing like creative games, if they are, no one's really playing anything else. Like they changed up the festivals apparently a bit as well because the whole Metallica thing was like a big event, and they've got another event coming for Metallica. So like Metallica is like the main event for festivals this season as well. Like they're going crazy with it. Like there's some weird shit they're doing. Like they're trying new things, but yeah. I've said Fortnite Battle Royale is dead. It, yeah well so many people doing it that's the thing else that like that's why they're trying to survive like like they're trying to survive which it's good that they're able to be adaptive like that they can adapt and keep moving on with different styles which is smart but it it does feel like it's going to get to the point where you know you, you're holding on you know you're paddling at the top of the surface while you're sinking you know it's going to happen at some point you can only you can only keep waiting going for, for so long two, three years. you know like that's, <laughs> that's what i'm saying you can only do that for so long so I don't know what's going to happen in the end, but I mean, they, I think there's still long, a lot of longevity going around. Ever since they started putting in the, you must have skins. Ever since then onwards, mm. is, is has been that. Well, that's like um, I, I can't remember if we talked about it last week, but that was like um, with Jack. Um, well, like COD's been doing it too, so like it's not just them getting the skin. Yeah, well, it's COD's gone real weird now with their like they've 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 tried to copy. So I mean, much COD too makes more sense than Fortnite's ones, but like they're still like. No, well, no, no, but that's oh, what I'm saying. COD play, doesn't. Play got this now. That's what I'm saying. COD doesn't even make sense. That's why I'm like, I keep hearing COD. I'm like, that's so. They, they've they've like, tried to be like Fortnite, and it's just like you know, like it doesn't work. Well, not like, really. That they had skins way before though. Yeah, no, but what they're doing now, like not I watched, to that extent, but like they did no, make skins. But that's like one of the clips. I don't think I ended up mentioning it, but there was like one of the clips I saw, and it was like it was a Call, Call of Duty or some random Japanese colorful map. And it was and it was dudes running around as Gundams and they're having sword fights as Gundams. Oh, fuck. I'm like, this isn't Call of Duty. Like, why are these Gundams running around with having sword fights? Like, that's not Call of Duty. Like, fuck. What this? That's you know, like, what the fuck is this shit? That's so I'm like, this is why I stopped playing I think Call they of Duty. My hair. I mean, it's going to be in there. Well, I so many people are either. just franchising and branching out with so many like co crossover like deals and shit. And it's just no, like, I had... it's like. Just, it, it, I'm, I'm gonna have a cod rant on Twitter. Yeah. So. But like, it's just it's just one of those things. Like, it's it's, it's cod is gonna be shit. It's it's cool. Like, it's not cool, but it's like it's like it's not cool, but it's acceptable. You kind of just go, okay, it's fine when like one person does it. You're like, yep, okay, that's fair. Like, we get what you're trying to do. I understand. And then you see someone else do it. It's like, really? Like, we kind of just kind of accepted that someone else is doing. It. We don't really like that they're doing it. And then you're trying to do it now. And then you see someone else do it. It's like. We didn't really like it in the first place, but now you're doing it. It's like we didn't. No one, none of us liked us it happening. We just accepted it and just like we'll just deal with it, you know. But then someone else is doing it. And then someone else is doing it. Somebody, it's like just stick to your game. Stick you to your can't lane. see character skins in COD because it's first person. Yeah, it just seems weird. Like okay, you want someone else to see you as you know, like it's just paid gun skins would be fucking better. Like well, that's what it used to be, you know. But then they, they that was the problem is because oh that was the issue is because you used to be able to make your own skins and then they took that out. Like having so all their skins, skins and... is 
gun camos would have been way allows better. allows to make our own skins again and maybe that would be cool people want to show their shit off like you know that's what people used to love making the decals and stuff it's crazy what let's go Oh, well, you're a trap. I didn't need a gun, and then it got really cold. Oh, I see. As wait, well, you're gonna have to hold on now. Yeah. You had a hard freeze there. So you're gonna have to hold for another hour. <sighs> you should have gone beforehand. I told I you to go to the toilet. To go. Well, that's a you problem. Oh, rude. Got the podcast happening. I can't stop the potty. Just because you need to go potty. <laughs> told her beforehand to get everything organized before we started. She's complaining now because she needs to go to the toilet. Jim B. <laughs> Such a trap. Such a trap. Such a trap. <laughs> you have to quickly. I did walk... a thing. You want to, what? You want to try and quickly walk past? Yeah. Hurry up! I have to black the screen. Go on, Jim. Go ahead. I'm black my screen <laughs> while you're talking your thing. Um. Yeah, I had a. I had three pickups. Yeah. One's got a sticker there. Um. It's not a sticker, it's a receipt. But um, I got the Metal Gear collection. Oh, you did get it! 60 something dollars. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucking cheap. That's not bad. I think it was like 68. Yeah. Come in the music tracks on a code mm. as well. I'm like, Ooh. But yeah, like, Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3. Yep. In, in prep for next year when 3. Delta comes out. That does actually look good, though. That I'm honest, I'm like, Ew. yeah, it does. I was like, oh, well, I'm, right? I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Like, I mean, I'm kind of tempted, but I'm like, mm, it wasn't like 170 dollars. I'm like, do I get it with the steel book? I was like, I will eventually. You still got a while. Yeah, I was just like, oh, because it's, it's the game steel book, and then you get a patch, which isn't bad. Like, it's nothing. The patch would be pretty cool, like the yeah. MGS patch, like. Mm. Put that on, like, one of your jackets or something. But it does look pretty good. And I'm like, oh, I will definitely have picked that up for the PS5. Definitely look up getting that. And on Monday... I never actually played, so... Properly. Um, on Monday, I put that fucker over there, which... I yes! I my camera. That fucker right there. Yes. Your big old shield. Built that. And on the, the next day, on a Tuesday... I built that. Yeah. So what's that over there? What was that? That was your uh... Uh, bedside table. Bedside table with some lights. Yeah, it's an RGB one. RGB um, bedside table. The whole way around the fucking bottom is RGB. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny that they have that. <laughs> right. So... Uh, it's only flashing now because I haven't took the thing out of the remote to use it. Yep. Yep. So it's it just doesn't... on standard. I plugged it in, and that's what it's doing. On, on, on the flash mode. I know I yeah. noticed that beforehand when we started. I was like, oh, it's got to go. I was like, like, I'll turn it on. Fuck it. Why, why not? Think... Yeah, exactly. Why not? Oh. But, um, um, oh. Yeah, those three things. I'm like, whoosh. And then next week, I'll say them here, but I'll show them next week. I'm a, a purchase because of all these fucking game sales right now. Yeah, there's a lot. That's what I'm like. Um, oh. I got Unicorn Overlord coming. Mm -hmm. Go for like 60, 60 something, I think. Mm -hmm. 50 something, 60 something. Um, and from EB, was well, more coming. Um, where is it? Fucking. I had to get these because they're on sale as well. I grabbed House Flipper 2 on disc for like yep. 20, no, 40 something. Oh, that's not bad. That's, yeah, jeez. And Still Wakes the Deep, which just came out last week, this week. Well, Friday, I think it, that came out. If Well, that's the other Thursday, thing too, Friday. which I, I wanted to mention, which is good. If you're ready to pick it up in a couple of days, apparently, uh, Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary. Yes, digitally on the 25th. The 25th, I was like, shit. The, I... the physical is July, I'm pretty sure. This... It's funny, though, yeah. that they talked about it, right? And then, like, they then they talked about it for a bit, that 
you know, what be happening, you know, coming up to the 20, you know, being the 20th anniversary. And then we had, this was like a while back. And then, then like, even before that, we had like them talking about the sequel. And then that's just shot dead in the water. And then out of nowhere now, like they finally talked about it again. Oh, by the way, yeah, well, we're doing this still. The sequel's still happening, but it's taken yeah. five years at this uh, point but then, since like the said, announcement. But now, like, I haven't heard anything for like, Anytime now, and this was like a few days just before the anniversary. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, yep, we're gonna be re-releasing, you know, the game on the twentieth anniversary. Like, you're not gonna hope hype your own game up. You just can be like, oh yeah, by the way, you know. They don't. They don't need to. No, but it's just crazy. It's like it's... I would like to have been prepared for this a little bit, so I could have like maybe put money aside if it's not gonna be if it's cheap or not. I don't know. Maybe it is. It'd be cheap. Like, like maybe 30, 40 bucks. Then we have the option to be like, oh, yeah, I've got to spend money there. I'll pick it up. Because you know? they did remaster it. It is 4K yeah. 60. So. Yeah. And up, and they did the textures and all yeah. that. So. But yeah, it's like you thought they were going to play like a modern, mm. modern ish game. Because I knew it was like, we yeah, knew it was 2004 kind of that yeah. came out. Yeah. It's just crazy. I should have never played it. No. Yeah, well, I played a little bit of it back in my PC. This would be my first playthrough, really. It would be nice to out. actually properly play it. Like, yeah, right? Yeah, like, it's probably fixed, oof. too, because playing it back then, like, well, not back then, like, recently, it was like during COVID, I ended up, like, loading it up on my PC at one point, and I was like, it's a bit, a bit special. A bit 2004? Yeah, very bit 2004. 2003? It's very dated. You definitely feel that. But um, but yeah, yeah no. well, that's why they did that 2011 release on the PS3 and 360. Yeah, they cleaned it up a lot. They well, as much much as they could for for that time. I also bought another Wii. Um, uh, you bought another Wii. What a Wii! Another black back and back Wii. Yeah. Oh, nice to replace that one. So yep. you, they said it reads GameCube. So thankfully, oh yeah, that does fucking work. So I can play my Zeldas and GameCube stuff. Yep. Um, and um, I found Hercules. Oh, you got Hercules? Complete, complete in box PS1. Hercules. Yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. There's only that's... one on eBay. I'm like, thank fuck, Rip. I found one. You're always lucky with that shit when it comes along. Like you always seem to be on the right time, and you because you've got a few <laughs> yeah, things like right? that where it's like one, one of this that's all in Australia, or one of this in all of Australia, or there's two well, copies and you get one of them. Like it's like you're there's lucky. There's more, that. but they're either missing the front yeah. slip, so it's just the booklet. Mm. Or it's the premium, the platinum hits silver. Yeah. Like, I don't want the silver label. So I mean, though, like I want the black yeah. original black label, and which I found for like fifty bucks. That's what I mean. Like you're getting picky with it, but like, like you're finding oh. it. It's like you're lucky. What was it forty bucks? Mm. Something like that. Um, nothing. I, want, like, I wanted to quickly mention as well. I don't know if you'll. I mean, I mean, you mostly get it. I'm assuming you, yeah, because you played them. Um, I'm thinking I might actually What's pick that? it all up. But uh, Friday, yesterday, was the Elden Ring DLC drop. The Shadow of the Erd, Erd Tree is the Erd, up. The Erd Tree. Erd Tree. Erd Tree. Erd Tree. Yeah. So I've already finished the game, so I can, yeah. I can go straight to the DLC. So that's that dropped yesterday. Um, everyone's been playing that, I've heard. Or from participating, participate, anticipating. I've heard a lot of people have been playing it, and a lot of people have been quitting because it's so fucking hard. Yeah, well, that's why I guess they say you make sure you you finish the game because it, you know the game gets well, to that point. To. And you're like, anyway, boom, it's hard. So. Well, you have to go to a certain point, yeah. and then you go to the defeat one yeah, of the bosses. So you you got to do a lot of the game. Yeah, so I might, I'm I'm tempted maybe at some point I might pick it up. I might pick up Elden, Elden <laughs> Ring. I don't know. Because I have been playing Remnant, and I have kind of been getting back into that. Because yeah, I think it comes with the game and the DLC, the PS5 Yeah, the new release. ones, the new ones you buy. Yeah, the the bun- yeah. it's like a bundle. Because I was so... gonna get the disc. No, I know. I, the I was gonna edition. order it. I was gonna order no that. There's no code or anything. I was gonna order it because the statue was dope, but I was like, I can't do, but I don't have the money, and I'm like, I don't have. It's like also it's like the close. game isn't with it. Neither is the DLC. I yeah, think, so. I don't know. It was a weird thing, and I was like, uh, like I think it's a code that you got with it. I think it was a thing, but it was a code. Not actual physical. No, I don't think there's anything with it. It was just the statue, and that's it, kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird, but I was like, "Oh, it's kind of cool," but then I have nowhere to put it. I was like, oh. like, I've already got the steel book for Elden Ring. I already yeah. own the game, so I'm just gonna buy the DLC Elden separately look, Elden on Ring the fucking good, store. I was, I was tempted. I was like, maybe, maybe. See how I go. Should I say, yeah. 
<laughs> Mules, Mules, I'm about to shame him right here. Yeah. Um, Mules asked me for some tips earlier about playing it, like, yeah. like a few weeks ago. I just told him, blah, blah, blah. He tried playing it like last week, week before. He asked me why the boss is so hard. <laughs> because they are. It's fucking, bruh, do you not know what you're playing? Like, he that's said why... he was doing it for hours and he couldn't yeah. beat him. I'm like, welcome to Elden Ring. Yep. Sometimes you just need to have several reasons. Like, I know I'm going to hate myself playing it if I do play it. Because it's going to be good. Yeah. I looked at my Platinum for that. I It came out, de- like, December? Yeah. 22 or something? Like, it came out... i done it... I planted it in the one month. Every Yeah, yeah. I know, it's crazy. I was like, I was, fuck! I was so surprised. I was like, oh, if he can I didn't think this, it... I can play it. I didn't that's think what... I'd... Yeah, that fucking quick. Like, a month. Well, that's why I gave... Like I said, that's why I gave me the idea of thinking, maybe I can play this. Because Jim Platinum did... If he's gone through and he's platinum the, 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 the game, that's a lot harder than just playing the game, I feel like. So. There's a, lot of, a lot of rage moments, oh. but yeah. It... Got squeezed past And also, I cheesed it. Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of cheesed it. I did cheese it. I, I did it get the butt, easy way. Get your butt across. And, uh. I don't know. I'll say everyone to fucking play it. Yeah. I, I am thinking of doing it. Then again, I did platinum before that. Uh, that was demon souls because that was what Luke's Luke's been playing. Because oh. we were trying to get him to play, I don't, I don't think he's like, like he's hyped for for Fallout. I'm like, don't even have to play Fallout. Just you know, because we we've been playing party chat. I'm like, just coming out and party chat with us. Stop being an antisocial bumhead. Like, just come chat with us while we're playing Fallout, and you can play whatever you're playing. And he's like, I'm gonna play. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm gonna play Old Ring. I'm calling him out. He's like, I'm gonna play Old Ring. It's coming out. This so I gotta get, gotta get the boss done. And then he's like. I've been playing High Fire Rush. I'm like, you go on and on about playing, you need to play Elden Ring, and then you're playing High Fire, Ru- High Fire Rush, you, you butthead. I was like, yeah, dickhead, you know. I was just like, and, and then because, because he's wanting that, and it's like, oh, we should, we should all get Elden Ring. We should all play it together. I'm like, and we, we, we both, me and Luke both said, I was like, that's not how the co-op works. Like, it's not. That's, no, it's, it's PvP. Like, yeah. The co-op, like, no, even when no, 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 you no, summon no. I think again, it is. Co-op. It has, but again, to do it, you got to summon people in, like Dark Souls, yeah. or, you know, Demon Soul, whatever it was. Dark Look, Soul. you can party up, but it's tedious. It's, like, yeah, it's a tedious process. Steps. Like, yeah, no, it's like you have, you have to use a finger to do something for, yeah, and use something else after that. I was like, that's such a complex process. I never process. did it for that reason. I'm like, the way we play with games, we would get so frustrated trying to set up a thing to try and play together. It would be pointless anyway. And I'm like, if you want to play it, do I said, you want to play it? Just get it yourself and just play it yourself. Like it's so it. convoluted. Like that's why we're playing Fallout seventy six and like Helldivers and Remnant because we can easily just get together and just play it because that's you what it's for. Jump, you can just go jump in. Like that's what Remnant's designed for. It is actually designed I mean, for co op. Some of games are known for multiplayer more than well, not more than, but like multiplayer is like a big component to FromSoft games. Yeah, it's it's but for it's, those specific you've, moments. You've it's, got to know how to do it. Yeah, because it's 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 like why is like it's. It's those FromSoft games are single player games, but it has the elements of going, you need an assistant. Like, we'll give you that ability to get an assistant mm. to help you, te- you but know. But it costs. At a time, you know. It costs. There's a cost to bring some money yeah. in. There's a cost. It's. If you die, yeah. like in Demon Souls, if you die, you lose your life and you go to, to a husk. Like, yeah. And then you can't summon someone. I yeah. Don't think. If you're if you're dead, you, you have can't a lull summon. Period. But if you use it's like yeah, you have a lull period as well. It gives you a lull period. But like that makes it the consequence going. Okay, you got to utilize having someone come in as a tactic. It makes it a conflict. Like a yeah, but with demon soldiers, you've you've got world tendency as mm. well to deal with that. Yeah. Like the game gets harder if you're in like black tendency or I don't Something know. Like that, yeah. Ten- it's very convoluted, but it's interesting. Like it's it's a smart way of doing it where it's. Not a necessary like a need, off. but it's designed the <laughs> yeah, way yeah. that it's it's to be like to make it feel like you're involved, but it's a necessary to have yeah. someone come in. Not way like because because if you have most games where there's cop like Remnant or like Fallout or any kind of you dick around like if you're playing Borderlands or something, you know most games have cop. You do things, you dick around, you fuck around. Well, with Dark Souls or any kind of Souls or those from soft games, you can't dick around because dick around. Fucks things up. I mean, up. you can, but it's... there's a fine line between. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's, there's, being an idiot. there's a price you're gonna pay. So I think that's why they do it in the way that it goes. 
You're gonna have some. I can't remember doing about it. Demon Souls and someone I was with just kept dying. I'm like, bro, you yeah. just gotta stop dying because this is making effect- it so much fucking harder. Yeah, and that's and that's it becomes, right. a, it's come, becomes a skill issue, and it's a smart way of doing. Same it. It's Elden so Ring, different. kind of. Mm. It is. It's it's. I it's think the there's. Way they do it. I don't think there's actual co-op in Elden Ring. To be fair, you can invade. I know there's a lot of invading. Um, yeah, you can invade and kill the player. That, but that again, it, that's like a main focal point for Elden Ring. From what I've seen, is they made that as mechanical to actually troll people. Yeah, but it's to make it the is. game harder to like really like fuck. Because I, I think they've done it where the more you progress quickly or easily, apparently, like you got more chances of people invading. I think it's meant to like real throw you off your game, so you're not getting so yeah, like you got to be in the same area. I think. Yeah, you you got to be in the same world, and you can come across people in those areas. So like, not like in the same part of the map. You have to be in this yeah. same. I don't know how big the radius is, but like you can come across somebody you're in that radius. Like, say if if like if you're in Limgrave, you can't go to someone in like the volcano or something. No, they have to, to be, be in the Lim- same area. They have to be in Limgrave. But that's a smart way of doing it, where you're mm. playing your own game and you might come across no one, but someone else could be playing the game in the same spot, and you actually might see them, and you get the option to either attack them or not. But like it's kind they of they might weird, come like, and kill you. Yeah, because the game tells you someone's there. Yeah, but you can't see them. So it's an interesting way of doing it that that it's like you can play it, but then you can come across. All of a sudden, you're dead. It's like, yeah, uh, it's like that's an interesting way of doing games. Like, because that's like, like, like that's like with um, like Watch Dogs kind of did that, but it kind of you went out of your way to choose to join someone's game, like it was part of the mission where you had to invade yeah. someone's game and then disguise yourself and like do a thing. Where from what I remember, I remember with Assassin's Soft, Creed, yeah. But with like FromSoft, it kind of just does it. You don't really, from what I remember, like seeing is you don't really have an option to invade. I think it just it can just happen. I think in the older no, games, you, I think you, no, choose... you do. You can invade someone but, just on okay. your but uh, I, will. I, yeah, because I've I've seen a lot of it just happen where, like they there's the no thing is you can like that's kind if, of if if you just load up the game without turning anything off, you can you can get invaded just like that. Yeah. Because I know the settings and you can put on the channel. And they will troll the fuck out of you. They'll keep doing it over and over. I remember seeing two people invade one guy and they blocked him off in a tunnel. And he couldn't get through the tunnel because they just stood there. And he they just yep. they just stood there. Literally just stood there at either end. Was it Demon Souls? Because or... uh, in Demon Souls, they actually blocked the area off. Like you've, I think, you've no, I think it was, I think can't it was, leave. I think it was Elden Ring. It happened because there's like a tunnel area. And the dude walked in the tunnel, and the dude stopped one end, and another dude stopped another end, and they just they just <laughs> trolled this dude. He couldn't leave. He was stuck in the tunnel. And he got mad every time because they had shields and stuff, and they just blocked him, and they just wouldn't allow him to pass. And he was getting mad because they specifically did it as just to troll to piss him off, like to, to doing it to people. Right, like, it's kind of funny, but like it, uh, but that's that's such old uh, like that kind of Elden Ring Souls energy. Like it's such perfect, like like that's what the game would do to you if you know. I feel like if if it was the game to be set up to do that, like you know? the thing, you, you don't play to have fun. I mean, yeah, you do, but like yeah. it's, it's it's very meticulously like how it's. There are people out there who want to ruin your fun. Oh, if they got the option to do it, they're going to do it. Like they want to do it. You like know? I've seen so much uh, troll soft. That's what they used to be called as well, like troll yeah. soft. Because it's just such an interesting way of doing it. Like. It's such a different way of doing it than most people do it. Like that's why only FromSoft can do it. Yeah. No one, no one else would pull it off. It's that it's that certain possession. That's what I'm no saying. one's tried. So I was saying, like how like Watchdog did theirs. There's their way they've done it, which is similar kind of mechanics, but it's theirs where their way. But just how FromSoft does theirs is just so perfect. Like it just works. And like it's not the fact that you know, so I'm saying like people hate it, but it's not one of those things where people hate that they're like, oh, you need to get rid of this. Like they hate it, but they it love just it. Just sucked in Elden Ring because you have to have certain items to summon and invade in that mm. if you don't have it you can't do anything because i like another so. clip i watched where the dude was playing he goes oh someone's invaded my game they're nearby should i hunt them down and the person just looked like they're just doing their own thing still but they invaded this dude's game but they're still doing their yeah. own thing and it's just like he's like should i leave him should i hunt them down because he was like strip must have been streaming it but it's like that's kind of funny where people like invade ga- the game that's what i mean like and then that they're still kind of doing their own thing like it's weird how it, yeah, like, people can it. help you or they can kill you like yeah so that's that's where that's what's saying because when you invade in demon souls at least if you're invading someone's game the yeah. enemies don't attack you they attack yeah. them still so you can just be within the enemy area and you can just wait for them yeah that's pretty cool and attack when or when they're attacking the npcs you come up behind them and just <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. them, like hey, bitch just get him uh like, you fucking dick. <laughs> oh, that's funny as. 
I don't know, because one of the trophies... Like, there's trophy in Demon Souls and Elden Ring to kill someone online, which yep. ain't the easiest thing. No. Uh, because, especially now with Elden Ring, yeah. that'd, be, that'd be OP. You just come across someone and they just kill you in, like, one or two hits. Don't you do it with a fucking friend. You mm. say, just stand there and let me kill you. <laughs> which I didn't do because no one I knew fucking played it. Yeah. I think so. That's why I'm, I'm very hum and high. I'm like, do I get it? Do I not? Like, I kind of like those games. I kind of don't. Like, I'm very 50 50. Like, a lot of people well, say Elden Ring's Ring. casual. Yeah, a lot of people say Elden Ring's casual, but it does get hard. I'm like, but then, like I said, you've done the it trophies. Is, it is hard. People mm. just rage quit the game and don't play it again. That's how hard mm. it is. And I found Remnants like that too, because <laughs> it's in that vein of those games. And that's been hard at times. But yeah, the, yeah, the first one. Fucking hell, the first one's. Mm. I tried it. it. I, I I raged it. Haven't gone back. Yeah. What about the second one? If you ever decide to get the second one, that one's oh. fuck. Like, that is a Souls game. That first one. I have been thinking of just that it up, combat. Waiting for it to get cheap again. And maybe pick it up. Maybe otherwise I can find it physically. Pick it cheap. I was. I know with PS Plus. I didn't. I didn't realize. Well, yeah. No, it I'm was like, on the oh. store the other week when I bought the other stuff, and it was up cheap, and I just didn't have the money. I was like, damn, and the sale was ending. I was like, fuck, right. no money. That's why I love PS Plus. They they gave out that, I don't know when. Mm. A it's year a while, ago or so? World, yeah, it was a while back before we had it. But yeah, mm. so, but no, two's not bad. So yeah, if you, like I say, if you feel like picking it up. If you, have you got you your know, PS Plus games for this month? Because they're pretty fucking good. Um, What was it again? I got Sponge, it SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already, I already own that one, unfortunately, but yeah. Mm. AEW and mm. something. But, um, uh, a PSP game they just randomly dropped it on the PSN store mm. in the classics it was Daxter yeah just randomly, I saw that. no announcement just... yeah and I just out of nowhere I was like what the I'm fuck like... yeah because someone, someone goes I'm playing Daxter on PS4 I'm like huh, no you're not so I just looked at it on the store and went it's fucking this <laughs> I know it's so random like what the fuck I saw the, the whole like... Jack and Daxter series is on PS5 yeah. right now. I'm like Ooh. Cause, yeah, because there was all the other ones that were up there. They got the um, which makes me wonder if they don't do it to Sly Cooper because Sly One's on PS Five now. Yeah, that's what I saw someone playing recently. There was that and, and was... Ratchet and Clank. They're gonna put the original trilogy on PS Five now, like eventually mm. from the which PS2. Good. Like I want to get back into like I want to play them again because I missed out on actually properly playing a lot of those. Like because all I was been playing at friends. I have them on PS Five. I got them on PS Three. I wanna. I gotta, I gotta get back on and download them, especially because the thing the, is, when they're on PS4 show. and Five, they're gonna be the PS2 version, not PS3 versions, mm. like how Sly Cooper is. Mm. It's a PS2, but you've got trophies. Look, like you've, you've got to play yeah. them. I'm gonna have to download them. So oh, the PS2 them is be... still better than mm. the PS3 version, but the PS3 is a bit crisper. Yeah, <laughs> but they did change the soundtrack. I think like they modified that, like cleaned it up. Yeah. Which was... fucked up one of the boss fights. Oh, is that because one of the boss fights is tempo based. Uh... It, yeah, I tried they... to. I, it's cleaned up. I tried that it's... boss fight for like forty-five minutes playing. I'm like, yeah, because it's the original PS2 version. So it's... yeah, it's not tempoed up with the. But the, the PS3 the... one, they ch- changed things, and it. Uh... it, it... Oh, that's interesting. Damn. You think you've hit it, but you didn't. It's like. Oh. I didn't know until recently. I was like, that's why I kept dying. Yep, yeah, because yep. it's this crocodile. Uh, it's Miss Ruby. She like shoots X, circle, squares, triangles at you. And you've got to time it. Yep. But the game's off. I didn't know. I thought I, I thought I was just sucking at it. But no, everyone sucks at it just on PS3. Do, just model, just do it without sound and just do it <laughs> visually kind of thing. Try if it works visually, maybe over. Oh, uh, maybe yeah, but I because that can that can do two different things coming at you, two different I, stimulants. And I fucking did it, but yeah, but cheese took like an hour. It's a simple five minute boss fight. Yeah, <laughs> but the um, I looked at the platinum uh... for Sly Cooper. Look, I've platinum the PS3 one. Mm. The PS4 and 5 one has a different trophy list, completely different. Oh god. So I'm like, huh. Yeah, you got to do all... It's a little bit harder than the PS3 one, mm-hmm. but it's still nothing too bad. 
and it's only fifteen dollars too. I'm like, that's fucking yeah. cheap. That's that's not too bad. I know that's. Those fucking good. classics, man, are cheap. I know that it's good that they put out. Well, like, some are ten dollars. I got um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars for seven dollars. I'm like, Ooh. that's not bad. Yeah. Oh. Game's hard as fuck, but it's good. It's good. Playing old games. Of uh, being Mace Windu, just with his basic attack. <laughs> <laughs> but the PS2 Star Wars games were pretty fucking stiff. Yeah, I mean a lot of games. The were PS1 mechanically... ones were way better. I see. It's what was like... that? What was that? There's a PS1 Star Wars demo that I kept playing. Oh. I don't know what it was though. It was amazing. Like the combat was just awesome. I can't remember what it was, but you're in like the. You was on a ship. It was like it was on a demo disc. I just can't remember which one it was. I kind of wish they added it. Mm. Because Disney's doing a lot of games on the back compat, like they're doing a lot of. And I'm uh, thinking Hercules will show up there one day. Was it day. the shooter or was it the Jedi? The Jedi. You're playing as a Jedi. It was I on PS One, but I can't remember. Because which... I know, because I know, Special Forces was was it Star Wars Special Force or whatever it was. Yeah, that's an FPS thing. That was on that was on PS One, and then there was might have been Jedi the FPS though. Might have been Jedi Academy. Dark Forces. Maybe it was that. Dark Forces. Sorry, not it was Scrolls. like a side scrolly, three D one. Yeah, maybe it might have been one of the Jedi. I'll look at it after the podcast. There's actually, but, um, there's actually I, a fair I'm... chunk, like, cause I've, like there was actually a fair chunk of Star Wars games that were on like the like PS One. PS2 yeah, had some later, but that was, was a lot. I can't like, remember what, what, what it was. Like, there's a lot of games. That's why I said Disney owned these, and they're putting it on the fucking thing, thankfully. Like, the Clone Wars, that's yeah. on... Well, that's why they dropped like, that, that, like... those big packs, like, they got them out for Nintendo. Like, a lot of them been coming to Nintendo. Like, it's cool, and, though. Um, they're trying the to... Lego Trilogy, the original mm. Trilogy of Lego games are on back and pat now from the PSP. Mm. I'm like, why don't I use the PS2? But I think it was a PS3 version. Mm. I've been across. the PSP and three. Yeah. Um, but no, there's gonna be a because the PS2 games now is a big one. Mm. The fact we can get PS2 games now, like we got Tomb Raider and Sly and that, like we're gonna get yeah. a lot of games now. They because they're going through the wave seat because you look at what they've been on. They're going through like the re, like the generations, like working on what they're converting over. Well, they're going to do PSP and PS1 because yeah. They were the easiest ones. They had to get mm. PS2 working. Get but now they've done that. There's a going. whole 6,000 games they can go through of just PS2. Yeah. They'll do all the big stuff, the big IP stuff. Like Let's think. Rise to One uh, could be one of them. Mm. All the fucking Disney games, because Disney's heavily involved with it. Yeah, they'll want to get their love. I just want them to there. drop Hercules as a PS5 game. It'd be amazing. <laughs> give us trophy support for that. Like, Yeah. I know. Like, Actually give us back console games, like some of those good console ones. Like, fuck. Well, the thing is that they are getting trophy support. Like, Star Wars Clone Wars got a platinum. Mm. Toy Story 2 got a platinum now. They added trophies for that recently. Mm. I I bought Toy Story 3 for like $3. Yeah, I, well, I downloaded I had that downloaded originally. I deleted that, but uh, that because of the game catalog. Yeah, but now it's got trophies. Yeah. So, it's, but those games, but honestly, those like, games are so ooh. small anyway. Like, those games are so measly. They're not even a gig. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, they're like, like 300 meg, like, 500 fuck. meg, 600 it's meg. Like, but they're so like, good. I like, so Toy Story 3 is amazing. Mm. I what didn't realise what that game was. I was playing as Sarge. Them and two of the troops going around, like, like platforming and shit. Like, it's crazy. Hey. <laughs> Sick. I mean, it's fun playing them, but, like, it's like yeah, it's... One of those things, it's just like... Oh. Like, it's pretty fucking cool. Because I missed out on them. Cause... Missing generation, them. yeah. Now, see, if you didn't have it, you miss out. Well, I had a PS2, but I didn't have any of them. See, I grew up with the PS1. Any, any of them games. So I played a lot of, like, games I... on the PS1. Like, I rented a lot. We owned a lot. Like, I had heaps. I don't even know where they are. Like, I've got... I don't know what my parents have done with them, but I had a stash of, like, a bunch of games that we kept, and we put them away in the wardrobe somewhere. I don't know where they've gone. I'm going to find them one day, most probably. Like, most probably another 20 years' time right. or something. We'll clear out the house. <laughs> and I'll finally <laughs> find them and be like, there they are! And I'll be like... I'd be too old to be, like, bothered trying to play them. I'd just be like, I've got them in my collection. But, you know, it's just, like, there's a lot there. Well, the I thing still... is, though, with these, you can buy them digitally on the P3. 
PSN store now, yeah. and you can just have them. Yeah, well, that's you it. You can just download so, it, Will. Instead yeah, of getting well, out it. your PS1, PS3. So it's just something about the console. holding them, picking them up, just the memories, just like holding the old ones. Just well, that's that right. I bought that. Hercules, but now I've bought it, it might come with the fucking PS yeah. store. I was like, oh, well, I've still got well, it on that's disc. It. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so. So. I, I need to fill that shelf up with something. Yeah. I'm going to buy another one. I'm gonna, I fucking need them. So you're going to put them across next to each other? Are you going to do it? One one side, one down the side of the picture. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know. You should should have to move, you should move your picture now. You should move it so you can just have a whole wall of it. Put the picture, put the picture on the you other. Three on the wall. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Get, a, get a short one so you can have a short one there. So you have it like, boom, short one, and then... Oh, have it, have it under the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy the whole shelf. Buy one of those shelves, but only build half of it. <laughs> Just put that in the half space. You could do well, that. That could possibly be done. Like, like a you... three quarter one. Yeah, just build half. Build a three quarter. No, it's all. Shelf. It's all about the top shelf because yeah, it's just under. So you could buy another one shelf. and just not build the top shelf Fuck and just sake. have it sitting there. No, that's what I'd do. I would build things like that. I do that. I I gently like modify all the shit I buy. No, I'm not going to all that fucking trouble just for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, next minute, but, um, I'm like, I've done a thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you were... <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, so, every few days now, just keep track of that classic catalog because they just yep. drop Daxter. They can drop more than that. Yeah, well, that's it, especially that they're just shadow dropping them. Like, they're just boom. Like, yeah, they didn't even promote it until after, so it came, think... after they dropped it. Because they're all purchasable. Like, that's the thing. They're all there to purchase. You yeah. Get them in your catalogue or you can I remember buy when them. they weren't. Like, I tried to buy Tekken 2. I'm like, why, why can't I buy Tekken 2? Yeah, you had to have the subscription, I think. They, they did it as Yeah, that. but now you can buy it for like 15 bucks. I'm like, yes. Because mm. I don't want to get the subscription because I buy games at my own will. I wonder how I look at... Is there a specific... Also, they get they do go on sale for like half price. That's so it. Seven, Is there a specific seven, section seven to look, look for them under? Or... Yeah. What they it's in your PS Plus area. No, I'm like wondering if, like, if you're browsing the store, like, if you were to look at buying. Uh not the store. No, you have to go to the classics in the PS Plus. It's a weird way of doing it. Because, like, because I know not you can, really. it you makes can sense. buy them, but yeah. You can't use your phone, I don't think, though, for the. No, that's what I was wondering. Thing. Essentials. Oh yeah, the AW fighting. I mean, you, I mean, you probably you can search game by game, but that's about it. Oh, right, there it is. Classic you look on the plate, no, It comes the up in the store when you scroll through a bit. You get a tab that has oh, classics. Oh, does it? So yeah, Star Wars two original. So the original uh, Star Wars, yeah, Lego Star Wars two, the original trilogy. Daxter, yeah. Ghost Hunter, Sly Raccoon, Tomb Raider. That's what I want to buy. He's Ghost Hunter. That Star Wars, looks amazing. The Clone Wars. There's the old two extreme. Uh, yeah, they they just shadow dropped Ghost Hunter too. G G Police. I think. Uh, Worms, whatever the fuck that Alone is. Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare. Star Wars Rebels. They even put 2. the OG Medieval on there. Cool Borders, Jack and Daxter, The Lost. Even though know, they got the remake out, they put the OG. And the OG. Ah, um, uh, what was it? They put another OG on Rally there. Rally Cross. I can't remember which one it was. Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace. Yeah, I want to play that too. $7. All oh, these PS1 games, bro. Like, I know, like, that's a good thing about having the. The past is so much I can just download. Right. <laughs> Up. Jet Rider. I'll just pay my um my ten dollars for them, ish, whatever it is. Mm. Whatever they require. It said Star Wars: The Clone Wars was seven dollars. I'm like, that was off sale. Like, yeah. I was, see, I was playing that. See, I was doing the the new stuff, but like, it's something about playing old versions of games. So they just seem to. I don't know, just hit different compared to playing like the some of the modern versions of them. Sometimes like, modern yeah, versions are there for fifteen dollars. Like why not? Like sometimes the modern version is great because it fixes a lot of the old issues, but sometimes the old way of how the games played just worked. Like it, it's yeah. The Phantom Menace them. is seven dollars too. Like, oh yeah, they got all the odd. They got all the odd world games there. Yeah, the old. I was. I've been playing. I just installed Soulstorm earlier. Oh, Soulstorm. Which is a remake of the second game, Abe's Exodus. I like the Serious Sam collection. Yeah. That's forty four ninety five because it's all the games, but again, it's on 
the subscription which we've that's got. That's also so. always on sale for like 13 bucks, by the way. So just mm. don't buy it at full price. No, that's it. But there's a lot they have on there. I like, mean, you can so. if you want, but... There's a lot they've got in their catalogue. Yeah, yeah Tekken Dax- 2 is $15 now. Oh, Yay. yeah, PS4. There's Jack and Daxter 3. Jack and Daxter was on. All the old Twisted Metals are on there, like Twisted Metal 1, 2. I know we talked about the last time Jack and Daxter, which I do want to get and play them. It was on Liberations on there. Oh, the old Primal. Oh, that's the Vampires. Mark yeah, Primal. Um, Red Siren. No, Forbidden Siren's on there too. Lord of Destroy Stars. all humans. Yeah, they got a lot of the Star Wars games on there. The you got the Star Wars yeah. Racer. you got Jedi Star Star Fire. Wars Demolition. Yeah, this lot. A Rise of the Kazai. There's, it's funny because they got the, right, the the Mark of Kree, and then I think Kazai was the sequel. I was playing Ape Escape recently. I think they patched that because now it runs a lot smoother. Oh, yep. That's... Yeah, they put the NTSC. You, you, you can pick between the American and PAL. An American is... 60 FPS, where I think the power is 50-something FPS. I might go back through and download some of the good, re-get some of these, reinstall stuff, because I've cleared up mm. space. Do download some right. of these, these games, because they're not going to be massive, a lot of these. Like, so. fucking Patapons on there. Uh, there's a lot, like... Yeah, Rogue Galaxy. That game is what I looked at on PS2. It looks amazing. Hmm. Pukadin, so whatever the fuck that is. But those Wild Arm games are amazing as well. Yeah, I might even even do that. I've got well. the first one. It, it, it's weird to get into. The, the third one's on PS2, well. I think. PS1 emulator. The OG Oddworld. Play that on. I didn't realize that. Um, well, I I do now, but like Oddworld, new and new and tasty, is a remake of Oddworld. Like Abe's Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a re, it's a reimagining. Yeah, because that's why they're, it's still the exact same like play and everything's the same, but they've got like ex- some extra things to to explain the story a little bit better, and it's just done. It also it plays a lot better. Yeah, it plays differently. I tried playing the OG. It is fucking hard. It's you got to yeah. know how. Yeah, and then what? What is a I got proper, played as a kid. Like, well, what a proper reimagining is no one that? Is way that better. um that uh soul storm is a proper sequel because they did abe's exodus which was originally a sequel but it wasn't really what they yeah, wanted soul to do. storm is a remake of exodus but it's reimagined as well like the way yeah. it should have been yeah exactly which is cool that they've done that which, gonna... which went with new and tasty like that and yeah Soul storm is one it, and two it fits in that that line of working together and good so i'm thinking if if Oddworld, if they're going to make another... Because they're called Oddworld Studios or something. Um, if they're going to make Munch's Odyssey next or something. Or Stranger's Wrath. Like, if they redo something like that. Oh, there it is. Herx, Herx Adventure. <laughs> Older Herx Adventures. That was, that was such a funny right? game. Oh, yeah, you can buy it for on sale for $1.88. Yeah. The old, <laughs> old Herx Adventures. <laughs> That's hilarious. But um, yeah, I've yeah, I've been checking, not not all the time, but like every few days, check what's yeah. new on there. I'm like, oh, I'll save up for that. Yeah, okay, yeah, they got medieval, I want to buy all of them eventually. Medieval Resurrection, which was the sequel. Yeah. Yeah, the OG and that's on there now. Like, oof. Mm. I know ne- I never played the sequel though. I played the first one a few times, but well, that's it. The it's remake's way better, I think. Well, they definitely cleaned it up but, a lot. No, like, the I classics, man. To... But it's not about classics, though. It's not even about the classics. It's just, it's nice to play. Well, they're not it's... short too. Look, the the games aren't long. So funny, they got two extreme on there. Those games are weird. It's they got cool borders on there now, like cool borders, man. Yeah. They've got some of the weird, like the random choices, but it makes sense because they were like kind of like iconic. So it kind of makes sense. But, I don't know. Sly Raccoon! I do want to play that. Sly, Sly was good. I, I, I just want to know why um why Tomb Raider Legend is like $30. Yeah, 
I know, it's so weird with what they have. It's, it's a bit odd, like, their price. And it looks like fucking dog shit. Yeah, I know. Like it, it's in its native 480, probably like 720p. I know. When everything else gets upscaled. Except that. I know. Like, it's, it's not so too weird. bad, I guess, but, like... I, I think it was the game itself, from a... what I remember. Even the game back then, it was, like, whack. It, it was such a... I don't know. It was, I remember playing it back in the day and it was whack when I played it. So I think it's just whack in general. No matter what you you change it to, it's just whack. The PS3 version is better. It's the best way like, to play it. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... But the thing is, they they can't put PS3 games on PS4 and 5 yet. Yeah, they haven't got to that point of, it, of bringing them across. Well, they're doing what, it. Emulating but... them, bringing whatever they're doing, however they're doing it. <sighs> as soon as they can, we can get Killzone and shit. Yeah. God of War. Yeah, well, we've Men got... playing God, God of War 1, 2 on PS5? Like, fuck, man. Well, they've got God of War 3, that PS... Is it the PS3 version? PS4 version? PS4. On the thing. 3 got remastered to PS4. Yeah, so they got the files for that. Bro, even Ascension's not. Ascension's still stuck on PS3. I know, I want to... And that came after 3. But no, it'd be good once they kind of get them all up, because I do want to go... Because I was playing them originally on the PS2. That because I did bring it out, you know, mm. that time, but I'm like, no, it would be nice to actually play it because I can actually have proper saves, get trophies or whatever, and actually try and play it. Like, actually, s- so that's right. why I kind of stopped playing after a bit. I was like, nah, I got a bit into it, but I was like, I'll leave it because we know they're bringing them across. I'll wait and I'll just play and it. And that plays better on PS3, mm. like so, with the PS3 versions. Because I was playing like the I remember playing God of War on PS2. Wasn't the that PS, game was the PS2 just... version, it's so weird. Cause, like, PS2 the, version was amazing. I remember being a kid playing that. Like, because that had God of War three on PS. That game was massive. Because I was nah, on PS2, PS3. Was on PS3. No, nah, PS3. PS3. The one and two bundle. That's right. They did God of War PS3. three was PS3. It was like two thousand eight yeah. nine. Mm. No, I was thinking it was the it was the it was the one and two. They did the bundle for for PS3. Yeah. That bringing them that was that was yeah it was three came out on ps3 mm. they, they went big with that game like that oh, game crazy. starts off fucking like you're fighting poseidon and shit like straight up oh it's wild shit's fucking they went hard with it i didn't muck around god of war three come out when it was 2000 and doesn't say doesn't say 2010. Mm. Yeah, it was definitely PS3. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then an Ascension came out 2012, 2013, I think. Which doesn't make any sense. Why not before? put that on PS4 as well? But wasn't that set before 3? Yeah, it's before the first one. It it's, before a, the first it's one. a freaking prequel. Yeah. It's, it predates all of them. I don't know. It's... But yeah, it's still stuck on PS3. It's like I know it's they need to do the whole lot. Just up do a bundle, do do the Kratos collection. Well, we can get God of War one and two on the classics, maybe. They need they need they need to pull the finger out and make a a, a God of War Kratos collection for for PS5. Well, apparently there's a leak or a rumor that God of War one's being remade do, for PS5. Do, do like they did because Halo was such an iconic for Xbox. They need somebody to pull the finger out because Kratos is so iconic for PlayStation. Pull it, pull their finger out, make the God of War Kratos collection, and just have all of them together for the PS5. They shot they're slightly doing because P- do that, PS. Do it that way. Because God of War One being remade, and just have it and just have a big nice collection of it all because that would be fucking dope. And you know, not like the new stuff; like it's the old stuff because, like, I know, like you know what I mean. Like it's the generation gap where the old stuff so it's like. God of War 1, 2, uh, what's the other, you had the, the two PSP games, was it two PSP games? Three PSP? Oh. Yeah, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. So then have those, have Ascension, and then have three, and have all their They're on bundles. PS3 as well, so they could mm. just... So have, yeah, because they, they, they did the two different P, PS3 bundles, they had the one and two, and then the two PSP ones. So have those four, Yeah, plus volume three, one, volume two. Mm. Yeah, plus three and Ascension, have those six games in a collection... And because that was that generation of Kratos, like that whole thing is that generation. We have our new generation of Kratos, even though it still continues on from that old generation. That's mm. still like have the two different generations. That's the those uh, ones... Greek saga. Yeah. yeah, so have the Greeks there. Do that. So have the Greek saga. Have that as one big collection. 
Mm. That would be. I would fucking. Well, that that. But what they like, did. Like they moved on with God mm. of War, like into the north. Into the north, like, yeah. So if they like hundred percent, they dropped it. They dropped, I would be straight onto that. I would be like, I need to fucking whatever I can to get that collection. Like, well, I'm on to God of War already. Like, if that first one's being remade, like, is I true. I was then... bummed. Like, I missed out on the, you know, you got both those collections. I don't care for... about the port, just remake <clears> the damn thing. Like, you got the two collections for Ragnarok, like, mm. they were cool, they dropped those. But I was like, eh. But if it's something like that, and they were doing something for, like, the collection, I'd be like, nah, I need it. I would, I would get that. You know what I mean? Because that's six games, like, great game, you know. It's a good franchise. Like, that's a yeah, fucking... Yeah, because they did it for PS3. They put Jack and Dexter 1, 2, and 3 on... On a on a disc, like they they, yeah. they they made a collection for Jack and Daxter for PS two to three, Ratchet and Clank, like yeah, like you can't play them now. Like you could without the PS three exactly. Like we've got the digital version. Like make it re redo that. Bring Jack and Daxter up to you know scale it up, fix it up, do some tweaks. Well, it's already on PS four and five. Mm. I played them one and two already. Yeah, well, I say the bits the old versions, but like do like an up, you know, proper. Bundle, smack it together. Yeah, they are an up. They are an upscale. Keep drop them out on disc and fucking. I'll buy it. They are on disc. They're very fucking expensive now, but not on PS Five because really. limited run games had them. I never saw anything for like two hundred a disc now, two hundred bucks. I didn't see anything for Jack and Dexter on the PS Five or PS Four. No, PS. It was PS Four in twenty nineteen, twenty twenty. Yeah, I never saw that. I think they, I think they did it. I didn't see any. Yeah, there's a limited run games only. I find a lot of limited runs, so that's crazy. I missed that. That's that's fucking. Yeah, wild. you. You even got the Jack Four. You even got a Jack Four, um, case as well. The unreleased one. Oh, that's fucking like, crazy. All we got was a name and a few images for Jack Four. Cause yeah, but cause they I actually know. gave you a, a game case if you pre-ordered a certain one. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> I kind of hope we get Jack and Daxter back again. I know, like, they need to get back to it. It's kind of slack. Like, come on! There's so many franchises that are just like, eh. Although I am sad about um, Sucker Punch saying that they're not making a new Sly Cooper or Infamous. Oh. Like, they're not even thinking about it. S- and no studio's doing it. I'm like, Bruh, they're not even outsourcing it. Dang. Oh, it's... Well, unless they're just saying that to, like, give us a, su- a surprise at some point. Try to, like, make you forget about it. Don't think about it. You know. <clears throat> Which I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. They're just like, hey, look. Look at what we've been working on. Yeah, exactly. Just out of nowhere. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to announce this now. Because people are saying, like, I don't want Ghost of Tsushima for the next fucking 10 years. I'm like... Why? The game's fucking great. Yeah. No, I, I do get the idea, though. Like, they want, you know, some of the classics. Sometimes it's great to... Some of the throwbacks. I mean, Sackpot's only a small studio, so... They can make one game at a time. It is better than outsourcing the damn stuff. Yeah, well, that's exactly and having someone else do it and then fuck it up and then it's like, you've tarnished our thing and then they go, well, well this didn't do yeah, well. Yeah, like, like, uh, well, it wasn't us, Jack, but it's like, well, it's your Jack IP. and Dex are the Lost Frontier. Yeah, and the whole rigmarole. Although Naughty Dog did work on that with them. So. Mm. They did the first cutscene. Yeah, that and that's thing. The... I think that was it. It's like it's like making movies. Like you know, you have a you have a movie of a character does does shit. It's like, well, we're not going to touch it again. It's like, well, there goes that chance of doing anything with it, and then you gotta wait so long, and then they're like, oh yeah, maybe we'll do it, and then you'll get a movie comes out, and it's kind yeah, of actually but... good, and it does well, then. Who knows? We're getting shit like this. So we're getting like Metal Gear finally on modern mm. consoles, and we're getting Gex next year because Gex has got a pre-order date. Yeah, I think you can pre-order it. So now. who knows? Like, maybe Gex it's just it's trilogy. just testing the waters, seeing what because they put things out, and then people go, "Oh, well, maybe we want." We well, we'll just had the then... Tomb Raider trilogy, like the original mm. Tomb Raiders. Well, I'm saying you you put all these out, and then people go, "Oh, these are cool. I got this. Or I got that." And then people go, "Oh, well, we want these," you know, and then they they maybe source just the feedback. Think. PS5, Sony bring out Resistance Trilogy, Killzone Trilogy, well, the fact Infamous they, 1 and 2. They just put that like Resistance for PS5, up there. Like, like, I'll be fucking putting money out on a heartbeat. And if they, if they can manage to work out and do a proper, like, actual, like, re, remaster for, I mean, like, the People consoles. ask for it, but it's not that simple, though. That's the thing. Mm. 
That's a lot of work they've got to go in. They won't be in the game. You can't just port a game because you've seen that with PC. It's well, that's broken. the thing. You, like, most time but, you, people don't like porting, so they've got to rebuild it mechanically to make it match. Mm, cause porting, it takes years. Yeah. So, like, even Depends who's base, doing even it. Though, take, like, like Bluepoint, they whipped out a lot of games. Like, that mm. Demon Souls remake, they did that pretty quick. Because, quick like, turnaround. even though you've got the, the engine there, you've got that, that's that old engine. You've got to make it mechanically change, tweak speeds. That it works mm-hmm. with a new system, so you got to go back in the code and go. Okay, everything. Every... Thankfully for Sony's though, they have got the it's on the same engine, but it's unupdated, so they just port and tweak. Well, yes, a lot easier. That, it does kind of make it easier, but like it tends to be but hard also, because the team has to want to do it. Depends on what they've made previously, what they used. Not everyone's going to have every mm. software because it's not all going to be the same stuff because some of it was all in house engine. No, but being in the same some was, like company, they can just use that engine for another team. Like yeah, but like um the Horizon engine used for Death Stranding. Yeah, that's that that stuff kind of works. Gorilla, but like, a lot of the older older games they use that like a lot of the older games were like a hybrid say, of like, engines that they don't use. Devs anymore. do share their engine. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm mm. saying a lot of the older games though like Yo, Naughty Dog at... uses the same engine, I think. Well that's what I'm saying. From the... the crash up until like Last was part two. Not it's, the same engine, no, but like that's it's what I'm saying. basically like, the same. It's that's what I'm trying to say. Is um, there's a lot of generation. it's just another iter. It's like another iteration of it. Yes and no. Like whereas it's... Bethesda literally used the same fucking engine. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. Is there's a lot of generations there where they a lot of stuff are hybrid together using different engines. Like, like that's like, like for example, like Halo used their one engine that changed a couple of times and they completely jumped all together with the last one, but like with the older games like Crash Bandicoot, like they that's why when they had issues when they lost assets and they could had they ended up having to pick the um the Crash Three mm. engine because it was different and that's all they had left because they didn't have the But also engine. it was better because it was recent compared Well it was to the better but two. that's why they ended up having to rebuild everything because they lost all the assets and what they did have wasn't fully mm. fully compatible with the third engine so that they had to rebuild everything so it was compatible and then that's the thing that can happen. Is that's because, because they didn't have the assets. Activision didn't have them, remember? Mm. Naughty yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sure. There's a lot of stuff that they lost and things were actually lost and deleted and things they did have. Like, you've got to do a lot of work to remodel things because you've got to reframe a lot of things, though, too, because you've got to think. Mm. When things are built, things are built yeah. from one skeleton type. These new skeletons aren't the same, so they don't match properly. So you've got to remesh exactly. and rebuild. And like, like I said, I've done... I've built and played with engines and done just, things. Just like look at that Metal Gear Solid 3. They look the same, but things have been shrunken in the modern stuff because, like, 2004 when Metal Gear Solid 3 came out, things were bigger because the pixels were bigger. Yeah, so they had everything larger. And you have to try and modernize it. Things have shrunk because it requires less. Yes, and that's the thing. So, like, like, things come out. This Metal Gear Solid 3 looks fucking fantastic. Mm. So, that's something. So, it does get hard because I've, I've looked at a lot of different games. Mm. And they some of the games will have hybrid engines, so they'll get two engines, mash them together to make an engine because they have this engine has this part, this engine is compatible with this engine, but it does other stuff. So they use them together to build mm. things, and it, it's convoluted right. mess. But then when you have that, and that's why it gets hard because you have one where that engine might have worked and then updated uses some of those assets, but then those main assets of this engine no longer exist, and they didn't continue with that, and that's fucked because you can't rebuild. What that then, engine then did. Then you got to super glue it together. So like... you got to try and make you code <laughs> new things and create new things to build things to kind of make it replicate. And that's why that's which is why easier said get... than done. Like so that's why a biggest issue. Unless you're blue point, you can just make remake after remake after remake pretty fucking that's quick. That's why it's better sometimes to start from scratch and go. Okay, we can mm. do something that's got an engine that's similar to that. Do what's going to be similar, and we'll try and be- best. If I'm wondering how they're doing Metal Gear Solid Three, like it's a full. They're doing it. Like exactly the same, like the nothing touched except well, just the graphics. It, well, no, I think it's a full the whole thing's like a full rebuild. Yeah, it's a full remake, but they're keeping it a one to one though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've had a follow through, and that's what it's crazy is like. Which they kind of have to. Well, that's like that's that's how they did it with like Crash Bandicoot. Imagine they're doing that though. Is yeah. for when they put Crash no, they Bandicoot. changed Crash Bandicoot. No, they no, made it harder. No, there's that, but no, but what they said like when they had to go through, they had to literally one-to-one basically scale it so they played 
through mm. it to get all the data footage from the like from game like from gameplay that already but existed. But it handles nothing like the original. No, because it's based off Three's engine. That's why it's. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you keep cutting me <laughs> as I'm trying to get to that point. So <laughs> yeah, Cooper. Um, yeah, because they fucked it. Like it shouldn't be doing that. They so, shouldn't have done that. So what it was was the issue was is it's all built in Three's, um, Three's engine. But the maps have been... Yeah, which doesn't work for the first game. Yeah, because it's cause they, they, they totally mimic, fucking different. They mimic the like, exact, la- exact layout of where things were p- placed space by space for the first game. They're the same and engine, the it's, just, game. it's a different... Um... No, they're completely different engines. From the, from the first two games and the third game was a different engine. One and two were built on the same engine, the third game was a different engine. Um, But that's the best one they had. Uh, And they really kind of used that for the fourth game. But it was a uh one to one process but because the engine was more sensitive that's why people in the games got harder in the first game because where you would move forward it would respond differently because it everything was like in a notch so in the first game when you in the original first game everything moved in like a, a peg so you're like bump 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 like everything moved in a janky position mm. where the third game was smoother so that's why if you played the first game now everything's laid out like it was in the first game originally but it's on a different so everything's spaced everything you'd jump over things further or you'd jump too short you jump too far and that was the problem they even said that themselves it's just they they didn't want to yeah fuck the game they should have tinkered it for the first game mm. because it just doesn't feel right because yeah the amount of times i've done things and i'd over jump things or under jump things it's like i did it so well in the original game it's because it's in a especially different the engine. long road like the high yeah. road that yes exactly and they talked about this plenty of times. You have to jump fucking to the perf- perfect pixel on that. Because like that's like you used to be able to stick certain like... things. You could you could just, you fall off things differently, and it's just it's a convoluted it's and a convoluted. It's... Step. That's right. I said I like the insane trilogy, but the first game's trash. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, mechanically there's, there's, broken there's because engines it's just... that aren't compatible. Some are, some aren't. That's why it's like it is nice when they're building things from scratch, but then you think, okay, they're building it from scratch. It's going to take the exact same amount of time as it would be to build a normal game than it is just to reskin stuff because you just upscale everything. You now have AI that kind of helps, but we've seen how AI goes and just makes a mess of things. AI is trash. Thanks to, you know, look at GTA. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a crazy process. So it, it does take time. The funny Something part is they quickly, said they but... AI'd it, but they touched it up afterwards. Yeah, we know they didn't do that. They they did some things, but very minimal compared to the rest of it. Yeah, I think it's still janky even today. You know they've been patching it. Even yeah. though Rockstar's been working on it. Yeah, they've been trying to fix it up slowly. It's taken so long now. That's the thing. It's kind of funny if they just if Rockstar just worked on the first place, they would have had a proper game. If they game did it from out. the start, it would have been. Because now they're still working. On it. It's it's taking longer to work on it because they're doing they're getting team people to work on it. While they're working on like GTA still to get that finished. That's why I think they I think four polished. got cancelled because it was someone else doing it, and they're like, "No, we're doing this now." Yeah, just uh, stop. It's like let us just finish because they're still gonna they're still gonna that Red Dead One like yeah, they're gonna rectify this issue now. Still that keep got updating because San Andreas keeps getting updates from what I've seen and heard. Like yeah, yeah. because they're still tweaking, like they're still patching the damn thing. Yeah, because that was the worst one. That, that and three. Vice so, City was good from the start. Just the rain was too fucking thick. You you <laughs> couldn't see in front of you. It worked or it didn't work. It, it was rain, but then you could see through it. And then it's like, it was so convoluted. Yeah, but originally when it first launched, that rain was solid white lines. You know, I know. You couldn't, was, like, they so were thick too. Like, fuck. It's so funny. They, it's I, got, so... I nearly planted them Vice City. I just haven't touched it in yeah. months. Well, so I did, I, I like, played through... <laughs> Three, and then I was going to start doing Vice City, and then I just stopped. I just Vice City's just, the best one out of all three. So much, like it, so much fucking. Time. CJ's model in San Andreas is broken. Like he's still like when he rides his bike and shit. Like I know, it's so janky. Some I'm saying because that's because they built that. They they didn't they they the character models are like they like fused to like super glued together like their arms are like down here that, like this and that is a point of showing that they they brought that across to a similar updated engine that's why because the models moved that was like a mobile port because <clears throat> like you, you that's what i'm saying because they it, the engines were different so 
the original engine and that engine they used they, no, they that, were able the to whole thing was different the whole game was different that's why it did everything that was, was a different. mobile version that's why like the movement because you look at the original characters yeah okay bodies warped stretch but they didn't do like how they did it because you watch where the pinpoint was of like when they like cj would move in the original okay you'd have stretching and warping because you had the skeleton port but then you look at the port and you see how he's, and you have like this weird like stretch and like twists and triangles everywhere and like it was all fucking warped nightmare fuel like that's because it shows it was you that mobile up, bullshit and they it's, just it's went straight engine, across the, the skeleton port. the skeletons were in a different spot like everything was in a different spot and that's what that's the thing i was gonna say like that shows you what happens when you port one thing from one engine to a different engine the engine's not the same fucking thing no, but when, when, when you port you're meant to tweak they didn't tweak they ai'd yeah. it that's what i'm saying like everything was broken like they didn't go through and rectify it going, okay, yeah, it's a different engine. Let's send it across and then work on what we need to fix because we're using a different engine. No, let's just send it across to this engine. This engine can take it. It's compatible. Oh, look at Tomb Raider. Like, Them remake, well, remasters are way fucking like, better. Like, because mechanically, that's how things work because mechanically, things are janky. Things are move weird. Things animate weird because that's just how the engines work. No, but so Tomb Raider did the same thing. They just ported them, but yeah. they did it the right way. You go through, reanimate things, balance it out. Like, fuck. They play the exact same. Make it all work. But everything's the exact. They just did the graphics. That's pretty much it. Like, you got the nice mode or the original mode. Yeah. But still, you can do it right, just porting them. Yeah. They fucking did it. Like, some games are fine where mechanically they're fine. And and that's all you need to do. Sometimes Except all you need to do is just a texture. When but you use mobile you to... ports for consoles... <laughs> And there's already a console fucking version. But you know, you know where they got that. Yeah, but you know where they get that idea from. You know where they get the idea of porting mobile across. The PS2 to... versions are the best for any yeah. CDN. No, no, but I'm saying you know where they get the idea of porting across mobile versions from, right? Because they go, oh, they've done laziness. it with other. No, they, they 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 go. Well, kind of is laziness, but they go, oh, they've ported that game from PSP or that handheld version of that game mm. across. Oh, they're able to port that that Nintendo handheld game to. To proper Nintendo console, whether it being Wii or like porting a thing to, from thing to like you know an old handheld to a to Switch, it's like oh we can do that, we can do that. So it's just another handheld game. No, it's not. The mobile version is completely different. You got to think how you're tending that you're sending a game across from a game that has extended controls to inbuilt controls. You're using a touch screen like that doesn't use controller. Everything's going to be different. Things are going to move differently because you're going to an inbuilt fucking control system. Like, that's where they see it. They go, oh, we can do this. And they just do that. It's like, no. Like, that's fucking stupid. Like, why out of all options have... I'm sure Rockstar gave them the fucking copies of the fucking OG fucking files. I, I'm i pretty sure that like, it wasn't Rockstar. It was more Take Two, I'm guessing. So, like, that's... Like, They're like, here, they... Because... They're busy there's, doing stuff. Like, there's they no could have way they would have got the mobile ports out of nowhere. But it's Grove. It literally was a studio named after fucking GT. It's a subdivary of Rockstar because <laughs> Grove Street. It was Grove Street Games. That's and the now they're with not Take Two anymore. They're with someone else. The whole thing now. shut down. I think they renamed it because they can't. I don't think they. No, can they say don't the merge. I think into someone else because but... that's like that's that's Rockstar's name. Like Grove Street. That you that's know? a proper subdivary of, you know, no one else can take that because that's yeah, that's in San Andreas, isn't it? Grocery. Yeah, that's what they named it after. Like, because dedicated specifically, mm. they 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 meant to just to specifically look after the mobile stuff and other stuff. While Rockstar could do go do like Red Dead or when they're doing Max Paint, you know things like that. They were doing that. They, that was dedicated for them to run all that stuff. Which is just fucked they, because. But then they go, oh, let's grab the mobile version. Uh... Okay, yeah, the mobile version graphically looked better because it was at like a higher frame rate and had the better textures ish to a point. And this fucking big. But that's fine at that size. Exactly, it's fine when it's at that size. When you're scaling it up, you, those those weird <laughs> warpings, those weird, weird dimensional, scary fucking player models actually look kind of fucked when you're looking at a large screen compared to a small screen. It's, you look at it and you go, oh, that seems fine. When you're seeing those fucking weird stretches and the bat okay, wing arms. That's like, the definitive version. Like, it just looks dumb. Like, that's just, that literally is lazy, though. That, like, like it's just... That's why like, I'm scared for that. four. Like Rockstar better do four themselves. And that's why everything's been delayed. Everything's gone crazy because they most probably will. That's why why they end up having to drop fucking. Because they can literally just, they have all the assets already. Like they, 
they can just do their own fucking. That's what I'm saying. Like, why? Why was there no like? Because clearly, if they were doing it, they, and there was, they're clearly aware of it. Like, they should have had the original files, and they could have just updated the textures, like re on over all the textures with the original files. Like, that would have been easier. Like the games, because I bet if Rockstar's got the PS2 files still somewhere on a fucking hard drive, like because because like they've... that's that's all it was. Because like literally, that's what the mobile ports are like compressed versions of those original games. And they still play well, the exact same way. you play the PS2 games right now, they look amazing. Yeah. But, like, the the, the, re- the Definitive Edition still plays the exact same way. The characters still jump jankily. That didn't change. All they did was make the no, graphics better don't... and then port it. And that's all they've done, porting back out. And they've gone, let's just keep the graphics. They, they used AI so they could upscale everything. They've gone, oh, we've got to port it. And that's the thing. They literally just gone. Let's grab the port. Let's upscale the texture so it makes so that we use AI to actually upscale everything when we make it larger. Because if you take it mobile game, the mobile ports though. That's what I just. That is so fucking stupid. Because you know what the funny thing is though, if you had the mobile port right, if they just left it the way it was, brought the mobile port across, and then re-large scale it, it would look it would visually. Worse. It would look worse than the originals. So they used AI to smooth everything out and re-render everything so they could large, you know, actually output it like, you know, 4K, 14, yeah, but the 40, The thing whatever. was, if they just used, not the Xbox version, because, no, but the yeah. PS2 version. Literally used the PS2 version. And versions, just upscaled that. It would have been way fucking better. Well, cleaned it up. Not even necessarily upscale, but we upsc- I mean, just clean the textures up. Re- re-texture, you know. Even if they used AI to do that, that would have been better than on that, you know, on the ports. I can tell you that now. Getting yeah. AI, because people have yeah. gone through it. If they used That's AI... people are pissed, because they should have used the console version for a console fucking game. Like, yeah. Like, literally. use If, they, mobile if they wanted to thing. use AI, because they, they were caught out for using AI anyway. But if they just used AI well, on the Well, I think original... it was the mobile for San Andreas, because 3 was not mobile, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> no, no, they were all on mobile. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're they all on mobile. That, then, doesn't it? Shit. But they spent more time, though, for the Definitive Edition... They spent more time working on the actually. So okay, this is the funny thing, right? Okay, so there is a port version of three Vice City and San Andreas, right? But when they made that yeah on PC, but when they made that definitive edition for the consoles, they worked on three. Three actually had actual work done on it when porting it across. Vice City and San Andreas were like, let's just slap some stuff and send it across with a bundle. Well, yeah. San Andreas got yeah, the but worst because Vice it's the last City is where they stopped, really. Yeah. So that's why you can see it. You can see the three where they focus actually focused working on because it. Because Vice City still looks the best out of all three of them. Yeah. Well, Vice City looks good in general, even originally. Like, Vice City looks good on the OG. Like, oh, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, you right? can see it. But it's funny that they literally were like, let's actually put the work, like, in three in GTA three because it's the in you know, it's the front of what you're seeing it so people will play presumably people will look at that first and it's like let's just put the focus on that one work on that one most we'll have AI do some stuff to help us but put the attention to detail on that and let's put that out and that's what it was and that's why they but they end up going back over it first and patching that first anyway Rockstar themselves which they did the, the same step as well not going like oh okay three was a little bit better but we'll you know they did the exact same thing let's fix three up first and then we'll do Vice City and then we'll do San Andreas so. They themselves did it in the same pattern, even though you think I, San Andreas. I just cannot forgive one. anyone who was at two K or take like, two for any of this GTA trilogy stuff. Like, because someone fucked up majorly. The whole thing's just yeah. The whole thing's just a mess. Fucking mess. Like, I'm pretty sure that Rockstar now are probably regretting getting Groshi to do it. Most likely, that's why yeah. they're no longer around. Yeah, the amount of people they had, the amount they like, should have just done it themselves, like hundred percent. I would have waited years. Well, more. the biggest, the biggest one that got him, that got mad, that made him mad, and everyone was annoyed, but was definitely the AI thing because they were given a task to do a job, and the company was like, with the amount of stuff they had, to think about, it, you have a studio that had like, I think it was like a hundred people or something like that, billions, and it's like a hundred billions, trillions of money. Well, it's, well, I don't know how much gross trillions money, of GTA. Money. They could have just lended them money, more money, for more people. Like I'm saying, like if they needed something done, like they could have worked it out because it's the subdivary. But grocery were like, yeah, we've got this. They're a part of Rockstar, but they yeah, they had like exactly. twenty people. So they're a subdivide company focusing on that specifically, and like, yep, yeah. we've got this. We'll do this. Yeah, sure, we'll we'll get it done. And then then they go and use AI because they're under apparently work. crunch time and pressure, and it's like, what the fuck? Like, you're 
specifically to work on this and focus on this, and then you're going to turn around and use AI? Lazily, oh. like... I'm done. Hey, two just wanted the money. Like, it's just crazy. Hey, look, just bundle them together, sell them. People fucking buy it. Well, that's what the, most of the idea was. Let's get you guys oh, to God, do this. I bought it twice. Well, that's, like, that's most of what it was. Like, we, we want to make this Rockstar. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it, but we're not going to do it ourselves. So let's get them to do it. They've gone, yep, okay, cool. You guys work on this. We'll get it done and whatever. And then they've just diddled themselves around. Grove Street were just diddling around. Didn't do anything that they were supposed to actually do. And then spat out shit. And then, then they're like, oh, yeah, we did this work. And then get caught that they used AI. And Rockstar's like, what the fuck are you using AI for? We paid you money to make this game properly for us, re- you know, do a trilogy, definitive trilogy, and then you've done no work, you've just slapped AI to do half the work for you, and you expect us to pay you for this? Like, that like that's, that's the stupid that. part. Like, I'd hate that too. Like, it's like, imagine if we fucking, you know, just cut now, don't like, like, imagine if we had the Beardy Bros. That's why I'm keen for this Max Payne 1 and 2 remake, because it's not involved with any of them it's actual remedy doing it yeah well that's yeah well it's theirs anyway they had nothing to do with rockstar anyway or anyone else so no rockstar own max Payne. they own the max Payne ish Rock- it's because they it's because IP. they bought they, they bought they, the ip they to own the, the ip they bought the ip to the character but yeah they own the game it's weird it's a weird no they actually own max Payne. so yeah but, they're, they, they're the but they're getting game. Remedy to remake it because they made yeah. the damn thing. Well, they managed to get the license back for three. Where's so. the irony in that? They handed off their their trilogy to someone else, but they're letting Remedy do Max Payne. Like... Yeah, but no, but, but it makes sense because Remedy made the first two before Rockstar existed. Rockstar The bought... irony in that, though. Like... Max Payne, uh, uh, Rockstar bought the IP to Max Payne, so they bought the character... And then they made the third game. Yeah, and but had Rockstar the could game. have handed that IP to anyone. Well, that's what, they, well, that's what I'm saying. But they, it's Remedy. No, 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 Thank, but that's what I'm thankfully. saying. Thankfully. Yeah, well, that's what makes sense, though. It makes sense. Like, why would you not do it? Like, that's why Rockstar had Grove Street Games make the, the definitive. They assumed that they were going to do the standard that they were supposed to do, what they were designed to do, and they didn't do it. It's like... Which is all bullshit because not one Rockstar, anyone from Rockstar seen that pre-launch? Like, no one? Bullshit. Like, that's the thing. Like, that's what I mean. Like, they've got to have seen... It. That someone's got to have seen something. I don't know. It was, it's, it's a weird Rock, thing. Rockstar knew what they were launching. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Maybe they just showed them certain camera rolls of stuff, cuts, and going, yeah, that seems fine. Like d- cut out all the crappy shit and just showed all the best bits and gone, yeah, that seems that seems alright for what we're getting. And then, you know what I mean? People do that. hundred percent. You just don't have to spill reel together. You don't need to see hours and hours of stuff for a spill reel. That's like an actor's reel. Like you, you have an actor. They do a, an audition, you know, you do little audition cuts, you see bits of their skill, you go, Oh yeah, that's fine. And then you actually see them when they're actually doing it. They could be fucking completely horseshit. Like you just because you split okay, so Rockstar sample. don't own Max Payne, take two does. Yeah. But take, that's why Take Two own Max Payne the IP. Yeah, well they that's but Rockstar like, made they, they the third got, game. Yeah, they got Rockstar to make the third game. Someone someone owned the IP, that's what mm. I'm saying. Like it's it's a thing. But Yeah, it's that's Take Two. But that's what I'm saying though. Like it's it's hard, you don't know what you're gonna get. That's like like say when you watch it like you get us any kind of sample, you see a trailer. No, we well, we know what we're gonna seems... get for the remakes because Remedy's gonna give it hundred percent, like Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying just in general, like with the whole Rocks you know, with the GDA things, like it's like anything, for example, like if you watch a movie trailer, you get a sample no, of what a movie is like. Rockstar knew what they were launching. Well, they, they they saw most of it. They didn't see all of it. I, we don't know what exactly what was going on, but from what we from what we saw when I saw it drop when they first. But either it, way, it's still sh- fucking shit because someone should have been involved from Rockstar. Like like like, well, like points, I said, like what most saying, said, like I well, was when I saw it previewed when they advertised <laughs> that Rockstar collection. I was hyped for it. I wanted to get that GTA definitive edition. That looked like, janky. I was I was keen for it. Like I was a hundred percent gonna pre order it, gonna buy it straight up front. Like it was good. I was like fuck yeah. And then I kind of didn't show anything originally. That's what I'm getting at. So you got to think these things happen also behind the scenes as well. And if and if and if it was take two, then they had which most probably there's was, no way Rockstar just let them have free reign about anyone there. There's no way. 
But like I say, when they're saying things are getting done, you assume things are being done. You you know, not everything always happens. Like you don't always know what another subdivary company. You know, it's not always some. You know, it's, it's, if you want well, sure, responsibility, bad but, management. You know, it's it's, and then once it's happened, sometimes it's too late to happen. Either it's take two or Rockstar. So like maybe they got to the point Probably they realized towards the end once it was done, fair. like fuck, it's shit. Let's just release it anyway. Get it out there and we'll just deal with this situation after the fact and now they have Rockstar, but then they've gone, Oh, yeah, it didn't work and Rockstar's like, fuck, now we have to pick up the slack because Take Two, you know, made the decision to do this. Now we've got to pick up our own slack because we already said we didn't have time to do this, you know, because we're working on this other shit and they keep deadlining us, you know. Like that that shit literally happens. It's fucking wild. Like, you know. That's like what happened with the either, Matrix. Either way, Rockstar is shady. Well, it's like the same thing happened with Warner Brothers, okay? So Warner yeah. Brothers, like the like with the Matrix, the same thing happened there. It's like Warner Brothers wanted to make a fourth Matrix movie. They first went to the fucking, the sisters. Um, <laughs> they said no. And they're like, oh, okay, well, cool. One, one's involved. One made well, it. No, I was saying, that's the same thing. That's what I'm getting at. So at first they probably they go, no, we don't want to make it. One's like, nah, fuck you, I'm not doing it. That yeah, one yeah. did do it. So. No, that, no that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. So what it was, was they precision for, this is the same kind of thing with any kind of industry It happens. They said to them, we want you, we want you to make this. They're like, no, we don't want to do it. We're like, we haven't got the story. We don't want to do the story. It's our thing. We're like, we'll do it. And it's like, okay, like for a bit. Can you do this? Like, no, we don't want to do it. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, they made it out of fucking spite. That's why it's so... Yeah. No, no, that's something that you let me get to the point before you cut off the point is um and then they go okay cool you don't want to make that we're going to give it to someone else we'll get someone else to make it and they're like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. no 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 you're not giving it to someone else okay we'll make the movie let us make the movie like okay cool you had the movie then that's what they literally did so like I say they made it they did have a spike going fuck you you're not getting anyone else to make it we'll make it they did that and then they put it out so that's what i'm saying things like that can be very convoluted where people go no 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 one else is going to take that we will you know don't touch it and that's why it's hard and it's fucking annoying where some people want to make sequels but then someone's not allowing to do it but then people just want to do it just because it's the money but it's like you know it's the whole fucking this is the whole system the tr- this trilogy was yeah exactly so take two wanted to do it they wanted rockstar to do it because rockstar's going no we're not doing that we're trying to work on red dead 2 you know we're going to work on fucking gda 6 now we're still trying to freaking run Rock GTA Five servers, you know, trying to do shit like that. Like, again, what, Rockstar is massive. They can. Well, they they gave up. Well, they you say it's like, massive. They dropped Red Dead Two to keep working on fucking six and focus on fives online. If it's massive, why did they yeah, give up? Because five makes them. They gave up on two so Red Dead Two so Red fucking. Red Dead Two was way fucking better than GTA. That's online. what I'm saying. Way and they dropped better. that. There was so much potential. They dropped that so fucking quickly, like so fucking quickly. Yeah, but you know why. The it's, kids love GTA. They don't love Red Dead like, because it's, it's more crazy. realistic. It's fucking crazy. Like, didn't you hear the hear the complaints? Oh, it's so fucking slow. I'm like, grow up. Half the kids don't even play it. Yeah, GTA even. But it's just like it's a convoluted thing. And then they drop that focus that working on six, trying to push six out. And like I said, they've really gone. Oh, can you make this? And gone. No, we can't do it. You know, and that makes sense. Like, there's other things for them to focus on. You know, they had to drop other... Rockstar had to shut down... Like, when they had that Agents game, they dropped that all together. They're just like, no, nah, we're not doing it. They did LA Noir, and that was, like, an mm. issue, and then that was a convoluted thing. Well, they, going to they, that. they dropped they Agents. They never so cancelled they Agent. They just stopped working on it for this time. No, they've cancelled it. That that got cancelled. Like, don't think they've cancelled, like, not outright. Yeah, no, they that's... They just stopped been, working on it. No, that's that's fully been cancelled. That, that They shut down that IP altogether. They shut that down. It was said, like, during COVID. Or something like that. They they they've shut that down. That's no longer fucking happening. And I was like, well, that sucks. Like that was an interesting concept. Well, they kind of said that they were gonna do, but yeah, fully fucking shut that down. That's not 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 gonna happen ever. Because I think it was the studio that was gonna work on it was the same studio that did La Noir, and they shut that division down. They're gone. Like we're not gonna see anything La Noir anymore. They're fucking you know there's no sequel there, nothing like that's shut down. Like it's fucking crazy. What, what they do just to fucking. Get oh, things... do you know why it got cancelled? Because the trademark expired. Yeah, because it's twenty eighteen. So, so they for so fucking long, yeah, just before COVID. So fucking yeah, now. So they for so fucking long, they did nothing with it. Did not nothing convoluted, and they go nah, and just let it run dry. Like it's fucking crazy. Like. How hard is it to keep working on or focus or kind of keep it to keep the trademark active, you know? Passion. Like, 
That's, they they just didn't care for it. Like it's fucking wild. Shut and sh- what, which is perfect. Which perfect. Bully which, would, this, would this... never bully too won't be a thing. No, well, they don't care. Yeah. Like they wanted to. There was in proposition, but but that coming coming to it, it's just great because this is another thing the I want to talk about. Well, it's convoluted with all this stuff we're talking with these students, which is like so the perfect segue. Which I was going to leave it, but then we've talked about all these studios doing shit, and it's perfect segue with what another one which I want to talk about because people are talking about it still because it makes no fucking sense. It's why Microsoft shut down Tango Gameworks. People are talking about it still going and and at the moment people apparently have been trying to like any kind of way to get word out of it. No one's saying shit. It makes zero sense because Microsoft is apparently They did still... say though, like yesterday. Did they say some more stuff because yeah, they just keep Matt Booty shit. said it was because of management like the yeah, fact yeah. that Shinji Mikami okay. left and so, stuff, and yeah, they shut okay, down. Okay, so like, that's, that's what it was because people have been t- still kind of confused by that. That's even worse. Which still makes sense. No sense because like they keep going on about Tango made some such great games and did this and keep praising High Fire Rush and praising all this shit. Then why did you shut the fucking studio? Okay, you didn't like management. Fuck them off and get other managers in. Like it's not that hard. There's plenty of no fucking because, studio- because they left and they didn't put no one in there. Like, like you got your own people to put in there. Plenty exactly. What I'm saying. Like, what the fuck is the issue? Like, oh, let's just shut it down. That's what people are so convoluted. They're just putting... That's what, that's and what the funny part is they left because their Xbox fucking sucks. Yeah, they keep fucking everything up. Look at Shinya Mikami. He's making the exact same stuff somewhere somewhere else. Yeah. Because they did say it. Because he's got... Yeah, there's all fucking this other Fucking dick, shit. Microsoft. He's only right. had to run a fucking company. People like, want just, out of there. It's just fucking... Oh, it's just like, fuck. Yeah, turn and around yet, going, you know, the, great, and then, the yeah. fanboy is just sucking dick now because it's like, oh, no, no. no. Know, like, literally, like I said, sh- literally, like I said, it wasn't last, it was like two, two, three weeks ago, We I said the exact same thing before the topic came up again, like, and now it's trending again, people talking about it. Exactly the same thing I said three weeks ago was like, literally that, like, why the fuck are the fanboys that would should really be making sense that they care about these Xbox games? Don't give a fuck when the games actually. But they don't because they never fucking played them. No, it's all about them trying to ass kiss up the fucking studio. But why are you ass kissing up a studio? The studio makes games. You need to be ass kissing up the games. Like w- without the games, the studio is nothing. What are they? They're just a placeholder. It's a fucking paperweight. Like it's another shareholder sitting there doing nothing. Like. The games is what makes them the way they are. Without the games, That's they're nothing. I'm afraid that Ninja Theory could be next. Like it's yeah, with because he'll play too. Oh, it's just fucking stupid. Well, I mean, might not be because the lull period for because you got to think too. When they shut studios down, it's part of investments. It's part of shareholding. Shareholdings rate laid to you know stock taking. The thing was there was times. future closures that were announced as so, well. Which... I'm hoping they're not one of them. Being the fact that we are now in the financial bracket, they've done what they needed to clean up for now, and hopefully they might have a chance to make something that might do some stuff that if they don't make another game now, they may be screwed. So if they don't start working on anything, since if they have... Or I'm they have pretty been sure a lot anything, of these developers are, are kicking themselves up with, with Microsoft because I'm pretty sure Bethesda fucking hate them. What's I'm saying? That some of them don't even. And I think you still got multi plat like Doom. But, but like, oh, yeah, Doom's Doom, 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 still, you know. But that's it. Just Doom. What about the Elder Scrolls? They're like that's an exclusive. Yeah, well, it probably won't be any fucking longer. They well, was that Doom being? Well, they really know things aren't exclusive. Like I like how all the Xbox were like, "Oh, Doom's going to be exclusive now." Exactly like what I said. No, it's a multi-platform franchise. That was always multi-plat. That's not going to instantly yeah. go to fucking... So it was Elder Scrolls, but look at, but look at that. Huh? Elder, what do you mean? Elder Scrolls is still on everything. That's an... Ex, that's ex, Nope. Yeah, but not six. How do we know? Six isn't even coming six yet. For another, X. Six is not even coming for another five years. So who do we fucking know? Do you, do you, know, that, you know that got announced nearly five, six years ago? No, oh, fucking it. Fucking you know, it. So long ago. <laughs> like, uh... like, it's... They're so bad. That's an Xbox man. thing. It's fucked. And and then to decade it in advance. Like, oh, bruh. That's why this Gears of War E Day. That could be sometime. I just had a CGI trailer. So, you know. Fuck. Didn't have a release window. But, you know, here we are. 
It is what it is. <laughs> oh, bloody bloody headset died on me. Um, fucking annoying. Trying to. I mean, it, 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 it me getting two hours. Me, 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 me getting a fucking little rant going on. Yeah, two hour fucking potty. Um, yeah, no, but like I said though, I always knew. I always yeah, knew. Go. Um. I always knew Doom was never going to be fucking exclusive. Nah. And like I said, but then like them trying to say Elder Scrolls, it's going to be multiplat. It's going to, like, they never stated from the get go where it was going to be anyway. Like, they just said, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, they did. But like, it's, it's not going to be, like, you know, I mean, Xbox and PC, that's, that's all they said. Like, they never said that ever. So, I don't know. But it's going to be on everything. It's, it's Elder Scrolls. It's always. Yeah, been... like five years ago, they announced that. When they first announced, they said it was going to be on everything. So before they even made, they even got to the exclusivity. They they said it was going to be on everything. So I miss Starfield. That was going to be multi-platform. Yeah, but but like I they, said, they got acquired. Yeah, but like I said, that was that was pre. They they announced Elder Scrolls Six pre um before the acquisition. They announced Starfield beforehand too. No, Starfield was after that. The first time when they first officially when they yeah, first announced. When, from what I remember, when they first announced Starf- uh, Elder Scrolls Six, was way like they mentioned Elder Scrolls Six way, way long ago, and then it was like this. Then they brought it back again, like a year or two later, and that's when they announced Starfield, and they gave more data, more information of what Elder Scrolls. Cause they, they, yeah, because Elder Scrolls Six was something else. Then they came back and they talked uh, Elder Scrolls Six again. And that was when the Starfield was coming, and then and then there was again, they confirmed Starfield was going to be just an exclusive. Uh, it's a whole fucking convoluted step. Like it's so many fucking things. Starfield that... was announced in twenty eighteen. Yeah, they they pre acquisition. Me- yeah, but they they mentioned Elder Scrolls before twenty eighteen. So I've I've heard of no, Elder that Scrolls. was twenty eighteen. Yeah, but they've done it before that too. No, it was twenty eighteen. There was a teaser. Because no, but there was no teaser. But it was just title. Starfield anyway. twenty eighteen. Yeah, they didn't get acquired till like twenty twenty. Hmm. But again, it's it's a. But the other thing is too is that is a new IP. You got to remember that's a new IP. It's a different story. Yeah, I know, but still, like that was announced for everything. But then again, Sony did the same thing. Yeah. Stellar Blade was announced for Xbox, but. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It but it's, again, it's a new IP. Like that's one thing people keep forgetting. If it's an already existing it's IP, still like... you can't change the IP of a new, of a of an already existing franchise. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you you. you... You can to be a dick. Yeah, uh, I it's, think it's, they know that if they did that, it's it's in with fair they trade. They wouldn't get the money because it's part. Of, yeah, look well, who bought of, Doom the most. It's it's a fair trade players. thing. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like Elder Scrolls will be fucking multiplat. They have too many people. But still, uh, I think it was revealed that Microsoft want to be the biggest third party publisher, so it makes sense. There's that too, but like I said, they they can't. It's a it's a thing like they can't do it, and the amount of people that play fucking Elder Scrolls Online, as well on fucking PlayStation, is a lot of players. So they they know they get the Elder Scroll fan base. Yeah, for them, like, for them that, to be like all I of a sudden now. Like... That's what I said. These Xbox make no sense because I know I know what games are multiplayer and what's designed for multiplayer and what's designed for for exclusive. I'm pretty sure Indi- in- Indiana Jones is going to launch on PlayStation like a year later. Indiana Jones is built as a multi-platform. You can see how the games are built. You look at how the games are built and operate, and you can look at games. You look at both sides. You can see how they built and operate and do things. You can see how they work. You look at how create like like God of War is built. You see how it mechanically does everything. Xbox games don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you look at how Halo does its things and how they play. PlayStation games don't do that. Because you, you look at other first person stuff. They didn't get a first kill zone. But I'm saying kill. But you're not saying. But kill zone and Halo play completely differently. You look at Killzone. You, that yeah, kind of Killzone plays out of plays Killzone. More realistic, like that that <laughs> style of shooter and how Killzone plays doesn't mm. adapt to Xbox. How Resistant plays and does things no. doesn't adapt to Xbox. Call of Duty adapts okay. to everything. You know what I'm saying though? Like you can see it. You look at what each side actually yeah, like, builds. You imagine and it a Halo play. player playing Killzone? Fucking hell! Like I said, Gears of War. Gears of War is built Gears. for Xbox. Like it's it's weirdly Xbox. Like that wouldn't adapt. Like you got to do 
all these games you got to do work there's to a adapt PlayStation them across. version coming to Gears 1 there's all these things coming to friggin X, like PlayStation but that's what I'm saying if it was so easy why aren't they they go okay it's coming well why can't you have just done it you're saying it's coming you know like, like these studios say that they're going to do it it's coming because they you know, are doing it now not it's, then no that's, no that's what I'm saying they now like if it's this thing that they could do now well it's just porting controls why can't you know it's but not also, because, it's because the whole convoluted thing they're, they're not selling do. anything now that they need fucking money like, for, it's, it's, from playstation that's the like, thing like there's a like, lot that goes into there's a lot that goes into these games being on different because platforms just think, because they're designed they run if because Microsoft are making any fucking money from Xbox like, yeah like, even Game Pass like oh, yeah. they make some but like they're not buying games well, yeah the, the little few that are aren't enough to sus- sus- sustain like companies and yeah dev studios and stuff so they have to outsource like Sea of Thieves PlayStation and like Half Hour yeah. Rush PlayStation like Grounded PlayStation like they have to do that now yeah they just have to because A I'll buy the games. You'll you'll buy the games. These people buy them. These people buy yeah. them. Xbox, they'll game pass it. I know. It's just like oh, it's just but it just does my head in how they all go on about it. It's That's what like I said. Like they're gonna be games. third party publisher. Hey, you have it day one on Game Pass. Yeah. Everyone else has got to buy it. Yeah. Like I can see it happening. Uh, I don't though. care about that. Like, you fuck. wait. You give it like fucking the DLC is gonna drop. You give it some time. I can tell you now, Starfield will come across to PlayStation. It's going to happen. Oh yeah, it's going to happen. Like that. I game think it'll you... be launched with the DLC. I fucking bet. Oh, like, one of the two. It's either going to be the DLC or it's going to be another window. It'll be after free DLC. with Game Pass, or you pay for it all on PlayStation. Like it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Like the way that game's built, the fact that they've done that, like that's the stupid part. Like it was designed for it from the get go. Like if they did anything that was mechanically designed. I mean, it's, they it's a typical Bethesda game. It's literally the mechanics is no different to anything else Bethesda does, and all those games are multi-platform. Yeah. And they literally stated, like they've literally stated that it was going to be like we've seen like a while back. Phil had mentioned that it was going to be multiplayer. And he freaked out and he made it exclusive because he panicked because again he PlayStation had Deathloop and whatever the other thing was, and then they only had him for timed exclusive anyway. So Phil Spencer fucking jumped the gun, panicked his shit off, and fucking like, oh, I need to make them. It's like, dude. You didn't need to do shit. Just fucking leave it. You own Bethesda. Why couldn't you just had it release on both platforms to begin with? You guys would have made the money. Like, it makes no sense. Like, it's yeah, dumb. Yeah, but built, like... Fucking dumb. Bethesda were a dying ship, hence why they got bored. Yeah. And that kind of move, that move being like, oh, let's make it exclusive to Xbox, makes that fucking even worse. It's like, oh, okay. This shit does just... suck to tango on that because they were better than like, any other oh. Xbox fucking studio. It's like the ship's sinking, right? Okay. They could have got shut down. The ship's sinking. Okay, so you got a you got a sinking ship. Oh, we're going down. Oh, what are we gonna That's do? We need, a... sold. Like, we, need a, we need like we need a we need a patch we need to patch up we need to patch up these holes. Oh, do we do we do we get some you know do we get some assistance from this bay over here that's close by, and give us you because know some... people hate Fallout Four. People, oh. like, they love 3, hate 4. No, people like 4. Now they're I playing like four. 4 because of the shows, like, I, why I don't you play it sooner? Oh, some people just didn't get into games. Like, some fuck people, me. I mean, a lot of it, though, is a lot of people have never played a Fallout game when they're getting into Fallout now. There's a lot of that, which is good to see. And yeah, that's but still, why... where's the hype now? Huh? Are they still playing it? Nope. Yeah, a lot of people are still playing it. Not f- not thinking Fallout 4. Yeah. It's all Fallout 76. I've got a, I, well, well, it's multiplayer. There's that. Well, that's there's that too because multiplayer people do like that. But like well, Fallout playing, Four sold fucking shit. There is a lot Fallout. of people playing Four. The only issue was at the moment with what's what's happening with Four is because the last update they released broke all the mods and it pissed a lot of people off. That's the only thing. That's yeah, because happened it was there. poorly implemented. No, because just... they didn't tell the uh, mod people that. It, but what they were changing, which yeah. they didn't know till the patch came out. Yeah, I mean they didn't have to. They didn't owe the mod community anything, really. So no, but it would have been nice of them to give them a heads up. Yeah, I mean that was the That's issue. Just common courtesy, you know. That like... was the big issue with like we we spoke about with London, but I mean they were actually con- in connections properly with actual, like that was an actual mod though, like a proper mod, not like. I don't think you understand half the mods that were in Fallout 3, uh, Fallout 4 
We're just people going, oh, let's just take these mods off mods site. Because mods are just... If you have to put mods on the, to enjoy a game, the game isn't good. No, these people just... The game they, ain't good. Fallout 4 is good. I don't know why people... No, but you're like, if these people, if, if, if they're like, figured Starfield... If yeah. if they're waiting for mods to play it, the game. I know. Good. I had I had someone. I'm trying to think. It was asked me the other. I think it was Ed. Was it someone else that asked me? Someone and yet the mods have been dropped for Starfield. No, it was someone else. Someone good. else at my course. That's right. Someone at my course asked me about that. It was like, oh, does Starfield have mods? I'm like, no, it doesn't have mods. Like they don't have the mods. Starfield's never getting mods at this point. But like, oh, it just the mod community has <laughs> ditched it because it's just stupid. But like I said, a lot of the mods in Fallout 4 mainly is is people on console. And a lot of those mods were packed by other people that made other people's mods. It's so st- the console was done so convoluted as well. It was so stupid. So the mods major so Fallout 4 and PC, you get <laughs> mods from the source, right? So you're getting people that are making mods, yeah. putting them up on the forums, and sending them off their way. You know, it's fine. So that makes sense when you if something breaks, you know, those people can but they're not even anything fancy serious. They're just stupid things like, Oh, let's make you nope. give you some boobs. Let's fix up some bloods. Let's make all blood come. Let's turn all cum into slime. Let's make slime green, which it should be, but now it's blue. So like there's all these stupid mods that people have made, which realistically you don't need to be talking to those people to begin with. You don't need to communicate. So it's hard when you've got like people like like I said, people that are doing London and there was another world mod which can make sense but they did actually have pr people within bethesda that they had communication with that they even they did communication that the update was rolling out and they now like i said have felt bad and they're trying to sort out stuff so they can get london going again um but with the consoles coming back to mods makes no it makes sense why they don't need to communicate people there because literally people are just going i'm a modder i just downloaded 20 mods from old mate over here put them in a pack and re-upload them to the server and that's where a lot of them are on console, and that's just fucking create a lot of problems. And make makes sense, like, why you don't need to communicate, definitely don't need to communicate with them. Because they didn't make shit, they didn't do shit, they're not doing anything. Like, Oop. but, they, they like I said, they did the update. The updates fucking made the game great, though. It fucking stabilized and fixed the textures and everything for fucking real well, and fixed a lot of the frames up and stuff. So that's actually a benefit. It's actually done really well freed up the fucking process power on that game. Fucking my God. They should have already been done from the get go. Like ages ago, they should have had that to fix the game because my God, it runs so much better now. And I can't believe it. Like that. It was an issue for so game long. It fine originally. Like I played it just fine. No, it had some clunkiness to it. Like it's some sh- slight shuddery clunkiness to it, but that update did clean it up a lot. Like took that. a lot of the back end off. Yeah. It fixed up a lot of the back end shit. So it's so much more better frame rate was so that definitely helped um i noticed that a big difference there but like i still a typical Beth- bethesda like but like God my my i've put so much more time in in fallout 4 like it's crazy but a lot of people got shitty because a lot of people were getting back into it and be like oh i'm gonna get back into it now and play with mods and people were like oh i heard you can do mods because i just you know and like oh i can't do mods and there was a lot of that shit going on so that fucked up a lot um but people are definitely still playing it i can tell you that now there's the algorithms I'm in, definitely, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people posting. It's kind of funny mm. because people are making new videos on videos that already exist on how to play Fallout 4. It's like, bruh, I knew of these yeah, videos like... IGN. Yeah, like, well then, then no, but like, yeah, there's IGN where just up uploading. But there's literally other people... No, they're are, making new stuff about their old videos, like, just put your old one I know, up. but there's and literally people me. now, like, making new content of tutorials yeah. to do stuff that we already knew to do when the game come out because we either did it ourselves or IGN had already made tutorial videos on how to do those things and it's fucking hilarious watching people make videos now on how to do something that we already know how to do now. Like, we already know that. And the amount of times I look at a video I'm like, yeah, I already know how to do this. Nine, well, how, when did it come out? Like, fucking... 2015. 15, so like nine years ago? Nearly 10, nearly 10 years ago. So nine yeah, years like, like, yeah, there's like, I see these videos and so many times I see them on TikToks and YouTube shorts and stuff. It's like, Someone made a video and it's literally new because you can see it's new and they're like, oh, it was like, yeah, I knew this nine years ago. Like, you're not bringing anything new to the table. Like, someone can look up a video no. and find that. No, but you get them easy clicks because people are Googling that shit. And then don't even that, give so me some, don't even, first. some of the content creators that are making videos for 76, though, that are recent are so <laughs> fucking frustratingly dumb. It's like it's not even fucking content doing anything. I was trying to find out, like, there's an item. Um, 
that because in seventy six they got a little engine thing which hook up to power that um recharges your, your fusion cores. And I wanted to see, like, see if it was worth to, to, to purchase, which it is. But I was like, oh, I want to type it in, just see someone, you know, maybe someone post a video of you using it. Barely anyone, like, people got videos, but no one really doing anything. One video goes, it's like, <laughs> it's so fucking dumb, it pissed me off. I'm like, it's literally, the person has, like, this fucking, I don't know, two minute, three minute video. But it's literally them going, like, opening up the game, scrolling to the store, <laughs> highlighting in the store, and showing that it's in the store that they they've added the fusion core. So this was like you know when it was added like, six you know whenever it was like a year ago or whatever it was, um, but like that's all it is. It's just going to the store, scrolling to it, going it's in the store, not even buying it, and showing how it works. And that was just the video. Right. Them just opening the shop, highlighting, going yes, it's in the game, and that was it. And I looked at the thing. They had fucking fifteen thousand atoms anyway. They couldn't have afforded to buy it. Buy it. They could have bought it, chucked it into the game tested it and showed it how to work and set it up. They didn't do any of that. They're just like, yep, it's in the store. <laughs> and there's no other videos. Most other videos were kind of like that in a sense. I'm like, and then a lot of 76 videos are like that. Just people open them going, yeah, it's in the store. That doesn't fucking help me anywhere. Like, fucking show me what the item actually looks like. Yeah, I can see a picture of someone wearing power armor, like in the store itself. Chuck some, like, buy it yourself, chuck it on, show me what it looks like, and then maybe I might be inclined to buy the skin. Like, I don't know what these people are thinking. Like, they're fucking dumb. <laughs> How is like the fucking shit people are making for content for clicks? It's like you're not fucking helping anyone, mate. Like, fuck. that is content in general. Like, lately, like, to be oh, fair, oh, it's just like, oh. yeah. just people being so dumb at showing things off, and it's frustrating. It's like, okay, it's giving me the information that I can sound like I want to click on it, and it's like you didn't do anything. You just wasted my time. It's like, that's not fucking helpful. I was like, oh, but no, like, but no, it's good to play. A lot of people are playing it. It's fucking good that things are working. Good that people are playing it. But it's just fucking annoying re-seeing shit posts. People make new things, showing things. It's like, we already knew these things. Just reshare old videos. Or new old things. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. It's like, it's like a generation gap. Because it's funny, because like I say, so many people have gone onto it. It's like, oh my God, there's these things. Oh my God, you can do this. Yeah, no nah, shit. We've already fucking been doing it. If you played it fucking nine years ago. That's like same thing now. Like I'm seeing stuff with like Cyberpunk coming again. It's like people told me, it's like, yeah, if you fucking played the game in the first place, you'd be fucking doing it. We already know. Like, No, Cyberpunk's different because they changed that game completely. Oh, they changed, but there's no, but there's some things that people are talking about. It, there's some stuff that were already yeah. in the game to begin with and you could have already been doing, but because people picked about up the wrong late. thing, like, it's like, oh, like people yep. got into it because again, the, the the people didn't touch Cyberpunk and then they watched the anime and they're like, oh my God, the anime is so good. I'm going to play Cyberpunk. Oh my God, it's such a good game. Yeah, it was. When it fucking came out, it's just, yeah, they fixed a lot of things up now, but it's like, oh, people are just fucking, oh. just gave it a go in the <laughs> first place. You might have found that it was actually good. And then, you, you know, with some issues. Right. Like, fuck me. People just... <laughs> major fucking issues. Oh, major <laughs> issues people give me. It's like, how... Why do you have to have a show to influence you? Like, it, the show only reminded me. I was like, you actually do kind of... Because weirdly, like, I looked... Because I, I looked at, like, Fallout again. I Before the show even came out, I was like, oh, I'll give it a go again. No, I'm not feeling it. And I was like, actually, no, I kind of am feeling it now. Like, and that's what I feel like playing is because it's fucking easy. And that Fallout was the only thing I can really play at the moment because of fucking... Not much else to really do. I don't really have the best internet, so I'm kind of getting by on right. 76 now. But that's because I figured, you know, hot spotting and trying to do different ways, and it kind of works. Not as demanding as Fortnite, so that's why I stopped playing Fortnite, because Fortnite fucking requires way too much fucking internet. Which makes no sense. But, ah, uh, it's just, yeah, it's just convolutedly nonsense. People just do my head in. It's like, fuck. Yep. People, man. People that don't play <laughs> games. People that don't. Oh, this mate. is why I don't uh, engage in the... Oh, this is, this is why I don't like... This is why I hate non-gamers. This is why I call them non-gamers, because they come late to the party. Oh, and they look at stuff. stuff and... like... Yeah, scroll. <laughs> so that's, like the, that's like the COD. It's the same thing as COD gamers. You're only just playing COD. It's like people like said that... that was it you and me we were talking about? That one dude that fucking bought the whole fucking year worth... Yeah, it was you to that the other episode. 
Yeah, it bought like three years worth. Just like, bro, fun. like, fuck me. You could just bought the game. Buying every game when they came out would have been oh, cheaper than paying for that. Oh. But that's common sense. Like, why are people just... I just don't know how they manage to operate in day-to-day lives. And it's always those that are dumb that seem to have the money. It's like those, like, oh, my God. How do you, it's like, how do you have so much fucking money to do that? I wish I had money I could just throw <laughs> away like that. Right? Oh, I just... But, you know, we aren't born with silver spoons in our mouth, boy. Fucking no. Clearly not. Clearly not. Oh, Look, I'm actually grateful for not having that because no, but it just be, it, I just, fucking be, I, like just be nice. I just want to have some kind of little bit of money so I don't have to be like like I'm in the situation I am living in a caravan because I'm just a shy short on fucking earning money that I fucking have to suffer for it. Like I'm just right. under that threshold because the I'm economy's just, gone to shit. Yeah, it'd just be nice to be above that just a little bit. So then I'm like, yep, you're just above it. Yep, sweet, you can get a house, you can pay for rent. Yep, sweet, you know. But no, because I'm under that margin by a bit, I fucking don't make the cut, so I gotta fucking deal with what you know. So it could be nice. It's like someone else was saying the other day, they got a friend that's delusional in the world, doesn't live in the same world as like anyone else does because he's he's privileged. It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like Yeah, they're fucking they out there. They man. don't get it. They don't get it. It's like, oh, you know, fucking well, cause he goes, Yeah, there's someone like cause they're like having a mate well, dude from the course, he's like like most of us like struggling to try and get through they've had to you know move sort of bonds and shit like you know things like that you know you're gonna fucking deal with shit and they've got someone you know someone's like oh yeah you know why don't you go around this place for two thousand dollars it's like it's fucking two thousand dollars it's easy to it's like you're gonna have fucking money for that don't even have fucking you know it's like right. yeah exactly it's like some people just have no realizational concept of the fucking real world because they've got a fucking they silver have more spoon money up their ass sense. like I would love to have that just to make it by, like just to be able to fucking live comfortably. I would love to be able right. to just fucking not have to stress about shit and just be fucking comfortable supporting my family and not have to, you know, feel so stressed doing it. Work a mass off. It'd be nice. Fucking love that. But no. Fucking gotta work our ass off for fucking nothing. Stupid. Stupid. I don't know. That's like surprised. Life. I don't know how these people manage to get by so well and be so lucky, but have all this fucking money, and yet they're the most dumbest fucking people. Because money solves all their fucking problems. And they manage <laughs> to survive. Like, I don't know how they manage to fucking not get hit by a bus or fucking fall into a... You know what I mean? Like, how do they manage to fucking operate? How do they not manage to poison themselves or fucking... You know, it's fucking... It amazes me. It amazes me that they manage to live so long. Because Arthur would do it for them. Yeah, most likely. Well, Which just... I, yeah, no. Like, being privileged, man. Entitled. Yeah. Well, not entitled, but like, is that privileged? It'd just be <laughs> nice just to not even be that, you know, not be that far, but just enough just to keep, you know, just. Yeah. Be happy. Yeah, exactly. Stress free. Not... not quite stress free because yeah, everyone's yeah, fucking ex- stressed. Exactly. Like... Just, just enough to be a bit more comfortable, just feel a little bit better. Don't have to feel exactly. so stressed to be in. I just like to have enough money where I don't have to worry about that. I'm having to put a fucking hundred dollars or so in the fucking tank for petrol, you know, for the fortnight. I want that to feel right. comfortable, you know. I want to be able to be like, you know, chucking a hundred dollars in for fuel is like, yeah, that's nothing, you know. That's you know, not feel like. Well, fuck, it used to. Know? It it used to be. I'm like fuck. Oh, it's like two dollars something a fucking liter for fuel. Fucking ridiculous, like. Not That's what I was stuff. saying. COVID was an excuse for the government to jack oh, fucking prices. Exactly. Up. It's just stupid now. Non stop and everything's going up. And I don't said. Because you I notice know. now, no one talks about it. Because there's no point. Because, like, what are you going to do? All we're going to do is just complain about it and nothing's going to change. Like, we all. everyone. Well, that's the problem, see? We're all just like, yep, it happens, whatever. And we just roll over and we're like, yeah, whatever. There's nothing we can do about yep. it. We need to fucking do something about it. It's fucking shit. It's fucking like. We're in the situation like we are now. Where we are like we're stuck. Like the way the housing thing's gonna go, unless I magically get a great job indefinitely, and then... it'll never change because it's gonna get fucking worse. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able. To, I'm gonna be stuck in this caravan. I'm gonna stuck the way we are. Like I already foresee this for like a year, maybe a year and a half, and it's mostly gonna be longer. But I can't. I'm fine with being okay with a caravan for maybe you know a year, but yeah, but it's more the kids, isn't it? Really, than anything else. Like, like... yeah, like it's gonna. 
you know, with my parents. I can't be with my parents for for for, this, for, for longer than that. You know, it's. But that's life now. Like people are doing that. Yeah. Like I need. Like if we're like gonna me, do like, anything. Like if we're doing anything, we're gonna. We're gonna I need to afford like, rent. Like. Yeah, but like if we're gonna do anything, like. We want to try and clear out my old room so we can try and clean that out and then maybe have us move in there. But again, we're still in the house with my parents. The best option if we could have is having a granny flat built down the backyard so that's separated the fucking... Right. Like, that's the only thing we could really look towards. But that's not cheap. Like, that's why we have a caravan because the closest we can get, but we couldn't get in the backyard. You know? Like, it's... Yeah. It's it's all fucked, man. It's what we've had so we're, we're not before. the only ones. Like, there's a lot of people in this that's same fucking and the fact position. We are now, and like, it's going to get worse. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to get worse from here. Like, I magically have money. I'm not gonna. I'm stuck in this situation, and it's like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, I can't keep doing this for forever. Forever, my boy. Forever. Like, it's just fucked. It's just fucked. And there's just those, like I said, there's just those that are out there that just don't see it going on. It's just like you don't get it, like. The, the shit's fucked. Like, shit is fucked. I said, I applied for so many fucking places, but, you know, nope, yeah. nope, 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 nope. I know, it's like so fucking This place hard. was lucky. I know, you're lucky. You got that, eh? Very lucky. But, yeah, I just... Yep, we just this is where we are, and I'm like, I don't know what to fucking do. That's what I'm said. Now I'm just going to save for a deposit and just get my fucking mortgage on, buy a fucking house. Yeah, exactly. But even that's hard. It's fucking crazy. Well, I mean, it might be easy for you to yeah. there, But it's fucking hard up here. The margin. Yep. You know, I know they're trying to lower the margin, but you still need money. Like, that's the crazy part. You still need the money to get a deposit. Like, you get the money for the loan to get the yeah. mortgage. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's fucked. I think they lower it down, but you still need, like, pay 2%. And that's still a lot of money. Especially if it's 200000 200, You need two fucking grand. Which uh, this day and age, uh, it's still a lot. No, to 20, stay up. 20 grand. Yeah, twenty grand. Still, because no, you need ten percent. So twenty fucking grand. Yeah, oh, I think they're trying to lower it down where you can pay like two percent, but it's within a margin and yeah, but loans still, that's... And stuff. I think oh, it's to get a loan. I think you could, yeah, you need to have two percent to get the loan. It's not... There's all these fucking yeah, catches you and loan the money and then it's just all these catches and mortgage, clauses. Mortgage. It's just fucked. It's just like oh <laughs> my god, it just does my head in. Remember, back in their day, a house was a few hundred dollars. I know. Fucking crazy. A few fucking grand. Like, that's about it. <laughs> a few it's fucking grand, my boy. me off. Some people just don't see the situation that other people are in, and it's fucked. Until you're in it. You don't know until you're in it. Mm-hmm. Which they'd never be in it, so. Nope. <laughs> They're fine. Anyway, live in fantasy land. Uh, <laughs> anyway, fucking ransom, fucking mad. I'm gonna. Yes. Play, I want to play games. Anything else? I want to play games. Uh, not that I can think of. Apart from I did platinum house builder. It took two two days. Or oh, that's not bad. Yeah, you two, two The I game's was... glitched. Like I was yeah. halfway through like building a house. Like platinum. I'm like thanks. See ya. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Just randomly platinum. Just... Yeah. The fuck? What the no, I, I, I got the prerequisite, but the game's glitched. We you, you don't have to finish the game to platinum it. That's crazy. Like, what things you have to do to like get trophies and stuff like that? What do you Just do? You think like just playing the game basically? All the trophies are unlock skills. Yeah, to play the to play oh, the game. Wow, that's pretty simple. You got. I mean, you've still got to grind a little bit, but other yeah, than yeah. That, yeah. I did see it cheap up and all stuff. Not bad. Oh, thank you. Not bad. Uh, do I grab it? Do I not? I don't know. It was only like 13 bucks, wasn't it? So mm. That's what I grabbed it with, I think. 13. That's crazy. I bought it a long time ago, though. Mm. Just, never, just, just didn't play it. Yeah, one of those things. But I've almost platinum crabs. I've only got one trophy for crabs treasure. <laughs> oh, dang. I've got like a few trophies for Immortals of Avium. I've still got to play. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, uh, platinum nearly a few. I've got eighty four platinums. No, no, House I saw that. number eighty four. Mm-hmm. Like, see, gonna get my hundred. Getting there. Nearly got my hundred. That's what? Uh, 16? Sixteen. I just started um the flame in the flood. That game's pretty interesting. Oh, flame in the flood, jeez. 
It's not bad. Game's weird as fuck. I don't know what I'm doing on there, but... It's an interesting... And I installed... What's that? The Last Guardian? Yep. Which has got a platinum trophy, I must say. It hasn't got one. Oh. But you're it's a good a lot, game, though. Because you're so. playing bloody Homefront as well. Yeah, I'm playing Homefront. Yeah, trying to play oh, no, that. You've got, you got a lot of fucking games going on. I just like, bought yeah. a DLC for a dollar eighty. I'm like, cool. I've only just been sticking like a game, you know. It was Fallout Four, and I've gone to Fallout Seventy Six because I was like, yeah, I can play with people. Been stuck on that now. Yeah, I've nearly platinum top spin. Nearly fucking platinum this, 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 this. this. I'm just playing. I'm trying to juggle like 30, 40 games. Yeah, I was like, I can't do that. It's too much. I need to stick to like one game, get it done, and then go to the next one. Was that? I just installed four games earlier today. Mm. Plus, I've still done Dragon Ball Fighters. I've still got it. I just ordered another three games, like House Flipper and shit. House Flipper 2. Mm. Like, I'll play that. I'll play that. Yeah, well, that's it. Dog. It, Mills. Mills. And I was going to try and platinum Metal Gears, but third one's fucking difficult. Yeah. Third one, it's it's mostly the Keratans or Keratins, the fucking frogs you got to get. There's 64 in the whole game. You have to shoot them. Some are during car chases, like the chases. If you, you've only got one attempt. Yep. If you miss it. It's gone. Yeah. And you're moving so fast that you, you just can't... No, it's fucking you gotta, difficult. You gotta redo it, yeah. The body care, no, you can't. Once you go past it, it's done. Unless you yeah. close the game and restart again. That's what I'm saying. Like, you gotta... That's fucking crazy. I hit it once. I hit it on the PS3 version. But I missed some el- elsewhere. I'm like, which ones did I miss? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. That's crazy. That's so difficult. Mm. And there's kill finish the game without killing anyone. I did that on PS3. But you oh. you have to neutralize them without killing them for bosses, enemies. Yep. That's fucked. I, I was using a fucking stun gun, my trank darts for every fucking thing. Like the boss fights, you try not to kill them. Like it can be done. Like I've yeah. I've already fucking done it. But I hope. The P the remake of three has different trophies. Like, don't make me shoot them fucking frogs. All sixty four on, on, on the remake. Maybe it'd be the same. Like, don't make it all sixty four. They've already got them there. They must just redo them. I hope not, because you you don't have the same trophies fucking ag- ag- again. Yeah, that's usually what they do with the games. They just re because they've already got them there. It's stupid. Like, just give us a different list. Yeah. That's what people. That's what people want. Like want do something, di- something different, different yeah, to something do. Different challenges. But like, three's hard. I mean, I I still try and go for it. I guess. Yeah. Then then it, no kills ain't too bad. I've already done it. So. Uh. You just gotta be careful. You don't whip out your pistol or something by accident and just kill someone. Yeah. Like fuck, you get the whole the whole game again. Yeah, fuck that. Like you, you can avoid some fights. Like you just run straight past. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good stream challenge because I did on stream. Yep. It was, it was fun. Uh. I'm trying to get Metal Gear because Metal Gear One that was never on PS3 and that, but mm. I tried to play that game's fucking hard. That's crazy. The first one, like, I was like, yeah, this'd be fun. No! Uh, but God. they included the 16-bit ones as well, as well from the NES and that. Whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. it was. The MS-DOS. <laughs> yeah, the old ones. Uh, yeah, the old, like, Metal down. Gear and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They included those. I'm like, yeah! Funny part was, the games are fucking hard. Ugh. Uh. Yeah. I was playing, I'm like, this is easy. I got to a part, like, I just got fucked up. <laughs> I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. It does that. But anything else you want to add, Des? Can't go on fucking forever. Yeah, no, that's it. No, we'll fucking wrap it up. 
fucking um fuck yeah i'm dying um what episode are we 25 24 25 24 because i don't i haven't written anything down yet till i'm back out on my on my damn desk i think it's 24 is it yeah should be yes thank you biddies and beardettes for joining us (laughs) on this episode whatever one it is 24 or 25 um but we appreciate you watching listening Comment below, like, whatever your take is on any fucking thing, because we'll be happy to hear it, see it, watch it. But, um, <laughs> as always... That's if you made it this far. <laughs> as always, we've been Dale and Jim. We'll catch you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you made it this far. <laughs> uh.